from Justin Lennon. What a great play from the Irish. Their crowning moment. 12 strong team. Welcome to Rome. And more specifically, the first tee here at the Marco Simone Golf and Country Club, home of this week's Ryder Cup, the Junior Ryder Cup. But it all starts here with the all-star match. It certainly does, Josh. Oh, it's exciting. This is where stars from sport and screen will collide. We've got golfing legends, we've got football superstars, and we've even got a few punters rolling in from Hollywood. And to top it all off, we're going to see what Novak Djokovic can do with a driver in his hand. That's right. We all want to see that. And we've even got beef to entertain us. We've got Ryder Cup legend Sam Torrance, who's going to be with us. Major champion Rich Beam is going to be in the building. And our very own all-star, Dom Holly. Now, I think it's time we see how the match is played. The all-star match consists of two teams made up of six players, with each team captained by a golfing legend in Colin Montgomery and Corey Pavin. Each team will compete in three matches, played across seven holes of the Ryder Cup host venue, Marco Simone. So from the first, they head over to the 13th and then play through to the 18th hole. Now points are awarded at the end of every hole, with the lowest score from each pairing taken. If the hole ends in a tie, neither team increases their total. At the end of the three matches, the team with the most points will be declared the winner. If, however, the contest ends in a tie, four players from each team will compete in an additional challenge to determine the All-Star Match champions. It's an absolute scorcher here. We're on the putting green. We've just seen some of the brightest and best in all their fields. Have a little practice, but that's not all. We're joined by Colin Montgomery and Corey Baven. Boys, how are we feeling? We're OK, thank you. As you say, it's a warm day. You know, this, is, uh, this isn't uh, usual for a, a European home tie. You know, we're used to Glen Eagles or Wales <laughs> or the Belfry, which is bloody cold, or Ireland or wet. But this is extraordinary, and 30 degrees here all week is going to be great. So, guys, we've got a little 2010 Bryder Cup Captain rematch here. Mm -hmm. Corey. Yeah, we have a little history, that's for sure. <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to ask. Are you looking for some revenge here? Uh, <laughs> well, I think we're out here to have a little more fun than anything else. So <laughs> I'm sure that we'll, we'll try hard, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a fun day with the celebrities out here. And, uh, I mean, it's fun for me to, to meet these guys and talk to them. And, uh, you know, we'll have fun out there and enjoy it. And, you know, we'll see what happens in the end. It's always, it's always fun until it gets a little bit competitive. And talking to competitive, mm -hmm. it's all about the teams, right? It's not just about you guys. I know you're legends. No, no, but let's take cool. a look at your teams. Colin, we'll start with your team. Mm -hmm. What do you know about them? Well, not a lot, to be honest with you. I mean, I know, I know Novak Djokovic, I can assure you. You know, I met him in the lift yesterday. And, and of course, you know, a world, a world sporting legend. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, as, as a few others as well. Kit Poppet as well. Uh, your your G4D guy who is, yep, is number absolutely one superb, number one disabled golfer in the world. And I'm anxious to see him hit the ball. He's on the putting green here, practicing his uh, lovely stroke there. So we'll see how that goes. But it's it's uh, it'll be interesting to to see them and how they react to the situation. Seven holes today, <clears throat> in front of quite a big crowd, to be honest. Uh, the crowds are out having watched the teams this morning. And, uh, and we're sort of filling in this afternoon, so it should be very good. And, and as I say, the weather's great. So, and, uh, and as Corey said, more fun than anything else. Some tough matchups. I've heard Gareth Bell's maybe yeah. carrying a little bit of an injury, but... Yes, he is. He, he said he's got a back injury, but he's been saying that... excuses? I think he's been saying that for many, many years, <laughs> you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he's my partner against Corey and, and Andrei Shevchenko, you know, the Ukrainian uh, footballer who, is, who is, does a, a world of good for... For, for his charity work uh, with the war going on right now. So, so, so he's, he's a legend in that category as well as his football. But uh, we'll have a good game and uh, we'll enjoy ourselves. So, Corey, how much do you know about your team and all your guys and what have you done for the captaincy here, organising them? Yeah, well, they just said this is who you're playing with, so, and it's fine. <laughs> so, the, uh, you know, I'm not a big football fan, but you know, I've learned a lot about football in the last... Uh, I don't know, 24 hours or so, but I know uh, both uh, Gareth and Andre are really good golfers, so it'll be fun to play wow. with them. 
Um, you know, they're both pretty much on scratch, I think. So it'll be nice to play with them. Uh, I watched a lot of the guys uh, warm up. Uh, Carlos uh, Sands on my team, and uh, I became a bit of an F1 fan at the beginning of this year. So it was kind of fun to meet him and, and talk to him. And, um, you know, he, he was used to be a McLaren guy. Now he's with Ferrari. But uh, I've got a little affiliation with McLaren, and, and it's going to be kind of fun uh, just to be around them. And, it should just be a lot of fun today watching the watching everybody play and uh i think they're going to have a lot of fun you know they're looking forward to it. they're talking about how nervous they are uh because it's not their field you know so mm -hmm. it'll be fun to see how they they handle the pressure being out there in front of a lot of people monty you've been a busy man this week already not just the captain not just rallying the troops mm -hmm. you've actually been making sure the european team have been well situated in their hotel <laughs> i think we should take a look Good morning, Mr. Montgomery, and welcome to the room, Cavalieri. This is your room key. Do not hesitate to ask if you need anything else. Well, thank you. It's actually Director Montgomery, and I'll find my way. Thank you very much. Enjoy your stay with us. The buckwheat husk pillow, as requested. Only the best for the Ryder Cup canines. VIP, a very important pet. Oh, great shot. What an amazing view. Oh, Tommy will be happy. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Anything else for you, Director Montgomery? Director? Director? <laughs> Monty, who was the most demanding guest at the European players? Oh, uh, Tyrrell Hatton, obviously. You know, <laughs> you know, yeah, I had to calm him down on the on the spa bed there, but uh, I, I had a laugh um, making that uh, video for Hilton Hotels, and it was good. I came down here about a month ago to do that, and uh, it's been shown quite. Uh, quite a lot and uh, so so I'm getting a lot more Instagram posts than I usually do and I'm not into that at all believe me don't lie but uh, but it's quite good fun and and uh, yeah it's come over quite well well Monty congratulations good luck with the game thank you, you as well Corey now I think we're gonna go and speak to Iona who's on the range with a few very big stars yeah, we are down here on the range. Thank you very much. And I've managed to pinch Mr. Gareth Bale for just a few moments before he goes and heads towards the first. You know that a bit chipping and putting. How are you? It's great to see you down here. Yeah, I know. I'm good. Excited. Um, what a day, first and foremost. And then what a venue. So, yeah, looking forward to it. It'll be nerve wracking, but I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. It is absolutely piping hot down here. It must be 30 degrees Celsius at least. How did the warm up go? How are the nerves? How are the legs? Yeah, no, the, the legs are fine. The back's a bit stiff from the other day, but. Um, yeah, all good. Struck it OK, so it didn't seem to go too far offline. So the fans, hopefully, will be a bit more safer. But um, just in, just looking forward to enjoying the occasion and uh, something new for me to try, yeah. And we know you're a very good golfer. You're very talented at lots of things. And golf, which is probably one of the most annoying games in the world, you seem yeah. to have mastered pretty much down to a tee. We've seen you've had a hole-in-one recently over at Pebble Beach. This golf course, however, is an absolute monster. Are you feeling confident about taking your skills out there? Um, I wouldn't quite say I'm that good at golf to be honest um no I, I'm, I'm enjoying playing a bit more now of course um i've seen pictures of the course and i haven't played it or been around it but um hit the rough's bad so i'll probably lose a couple of balls today but uh no i'm just looking forward to to playing to being in this atmosphere being in a couple of days before the actual Ryder cup plays to play the course is such a cool experience so um yeah happy and thankful to be here and just looking forward to enjoying it and the partner today who's that the one, the only Monty. So uh, Come on. I'm, I'm not worried at all because my partner is a Ryder Cup hero and yeah, his record speaks for himself. I've already told him that he's going to carry this team. <laughs> Have you met Monty before? No, I haven't. Um, so it was, it was nice to spend, sorry, me yesterday, spend a few hours with me yesterday and obviously looking forward to hitting some balls on the course with him today. OK, just finally, um, Gareth, what would you say are the real strengths of your game? What are you going to take to Monty today out there on the golf course? 
I just need to back up Monty. If he ever hits a bad shot, then I've got to play safe. That's my, that's my tactic. OK, good stuff. Thank you for chatting to us and we wish you the best of luck out there. Go get him, go get him. Let's take a little wander down this side of the range. It was, it was absolutely buzzing down here just a few moments ago and now they've all scuttled off to get their chipping and putting. We're seeing all kinds of shots. I'm not going to lie. There is a tension out here that is very, very nerve-wracking and rather it's them, not me. Very happy not to be in the driver's seat today because this is pressure unlike any other. We're talking about the build-up to the Ryder Cup and we found Garrett over here with the big dog out. Sorry to interrupt yes. your warm-up. No, you're fine. Great to see you, a part of this wonderful yes, event today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm just happy to be here. You're happy to be, we're happy to be here. Yeah. Happy to be anywhere, right? Uh, yeah. and, and and obviously the role of caddy is an important one and you've uh -huh. got plenty of guys out there, your whole dude perfect team yeah. that would be knocking on the door trying to get this responsibility. How did you choose who was going to caddy for you that today? That is a great question. Went with the guy that's going to keep me the most calm. Okay. Yeah, not, you know, not get mad at me if I hit a bad shot. The guy that's going to build me up instead of put me down. Hi, okay, right. Well, well, let's dive into that a little bit more. How do we keep Garrett calm on the golf course? Because it's going to be pretty gnarly out there. There's thousands <laughs> of people on the first tee already waiting to check. Yeah. Garrett, That'd Garrett. Be sweet. Honestly, I think that would make me play bad. I've always thought, you know, I'm bad at golf because no one's watching. So I just need people to watch to, get, ready for this. to get me going. This is your moment. Yeah. And in terms I of... I actually have no idea if that's true. I could be horrible, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going with that. Well, come on in here. Come on in here then. Listen, how has how the warm-up gone in your opinion for Garrett? I'm honestly, I couldn't be more proud. I mean, like Garrett said, I'm here. I'm a, I'm a words of encouragement guy, so that's what I'm going to channel for Garrett today. Um, he's out here thriving. It's pretty fun. He gets to look up at his top tracer. and I mean, look at that. Look at it. Oh, oh, man, it's beautiful. You guys, if you can see it, you'd really it's, enjoy it's it. It's beautiful. We've got a launch <laughs> angle of 14 degrees. That's about textbook. Uh, flat carry of 240 meters. DeChambeau, watch out. Listen, yeah. we're talking some big game out here, <laughs> but it's a, it's a tough golf course. Um, you know, strategy for getting it around these seven holes today. So I've actually um, played the uh, course on TrackMan a couple times. Oh, love it. And it's a shorter course than uh, I would like it. So I'm going to have to take some lower woods. You know, I'm gonna, I think the driver's going to have to stay in the bag a little bit, but, <laughs> uh, which is unfortunate because it's the biggest face to hit a ball in front of people. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just here to have fun. I mean. I get to play with some great partners and teammates, and uh, it's just cool to be a part of it. Yeah, it certainly is. And we know you're used to having a camera shoved in your face, so you'll probably <laughs> yeah. be feeling less nervous than the rest of them. In terms of the Ryder Cup, though, this week, who's your mm -hmm. money on? It's going to be so tight. There's a lot of build-up. This could be one of the best contests we've ever seen. Yeah. It's so tough. We have, we have friends on both teams. Um, it's hard not to pick Team Europe just because, you know, the home, home team has won quite a bit, but the talent the USA is putting out this week you know, if, if Ricky and JT play really well, then I, I don't see how the USA doesn't take it home. Whoa, whoa, big chat. Garrett, it's always a pleasure to chat to you. We wish you well out yeah. there. Go get him, and we'll see you later on out on the golf course. I want to thank you. That is St. Peter's Basilica away in Vatican City. We are in the Eternal City. We are in Rome. We will have the Ryder Cup beginning on Friday. We've got the Junior Ryder Cup concluding tomorrow. But, of course, today it's all about this all-star match. You're looking down at the grandstands around the first tee there. They're going to skip from one to this hole you can see in the bottom of your picture, the par 3 13th. Then they'll play through to the 18th hole here at Marco Simone. Rich Beam and Sam Torrance alongside myself, Dom Hollier, in the commentary box. Now, they sound quite calm, don't they? But you guys will have played with professional sportsmen. When they get on the tee in any scenario, they get quite competitive. Well, they've been professional at, the, at the, their own jobs for a long time. I, I was surprised when Iona asked Gareth Bale what's the best part of your game he didn't say my footwork is brilliant <laughs> <laughs> that was i mean that was a layup well you've been thinking about that for the last three four minutes maybe yeah, well it was in there yeah okay it just came out <laughs> rich the other the other element of this of course is they are slightly out of their comfort zone yes they're professional sportsmen and they've gareth bales walked out in huge arenas in his time so as shevchenko science and djokovic of course but this is a new experience for them. It's just a different arena. I, I, obviously, being in front of, you know, thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of, of fans, that's one thing. But, uh, you know, when you're out of your element a little bit and you actually have to put that little white golf ball into motion a little bit, that's when things get a little bit interesting. That's when all the, the, the folks that are in your head, you know, don't pull it, don't push it. Uh, don't hurt anybody, don't hurt yourself, don't fat it, don't thin it. I mean, all those things that you've told yourself not to tell yourself, they come just wandering out aimlessly. 
I felt like that in the real round of cup yeah. myself. <laughs> I can imagine. Just make sure you hit it and don't have a fresh air. <laughs> hit it hard. There's a, a nice walk actually across this little gantry uh, to the first tee from the driving range. You've just got a glimpse of the ninth green away in the distance, the par five. We won't see that hole today, but we're going to see, of course, quite a few of the holes that uh, will be in play for the Ryder Cup. And, and one of the talking points this week, guys, has been the rough. Now, and this applies for the All-Stars as well as the players in the real Ryder Cup, it's best to stay out of it as much as you can. Yeah, it's pretty br brutal. Uh, it, about 20, 30 yards in, it's been cleared for the spectators, so if you're going to miss the fairway, make a good job of it. And you might get a good lie somewhere, but if you're in the thick stuff, you're basically coming out sideways. It's kind of the way it was set up or in France at the National, and I thought that was the best layup and set up to combat this distance hitting. Yeah, it, it certainly made a difference. And it's interesting because they have pinched the fairways down, you know, right around the 290-ish mark in most holes. And so you're taking the driver out of play for a lot of the players. And it's interesting, though, that the Europeans have decided to set it up like this because you got the best driver in the game, Roy McIlroy, uh, and, and arguably, you know, John Rahm, when he's at his best, he can drive the ball as good as anybody. So you're kind of limiting some of the players, you know, with the driver a lot of places. But, again, if you're going to miss it, uh, as Sam said, miss it big. Don't, don't, don't just miss it a little. They won't be playing off the uh, Ryder Cup tees exactly in the All-Star match. They'll be a, a little bit forward for obvious reasons. There is Gareth Bale, two handicapper. He's going to get uh, one shot out there today, and that'll come at the 15th, which they rate as the, the toughest hole of these seven we're going to play in this All-Star match. He played in the Pro-Arm a couple of weeks ago at Wentworth with Rory, so he's, he's had a taste of playing golf in front of uh, big crowds. I mean, he's used to, as you said, dumb 100,000 people watching Real Madrid for all these years. But this is just out your element. It's... Uh, and golf's that wee bit different. The ball just sits there and waits for you to hit it. It's not like somebody's passed it to you. You just react and go. You've got time to think and confuse yourself. That's exactly right. Confuse yourself. And that's just it. I mean, you're the one that's got to put that ball in motion. They're, it's not, they're not reacting to it like they normally do. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it, uh, how it all shakes out. This is how they're going to go out. Uh, Djokovic with Popert, Perino with uh, Carlos Sainz. So we've got a couple of G4D golfers in there with a couple of world stars from motor racing and tennis. We've got Garrett Hilbert from Dude Perfect uh, with uh, Fioravanti, who's an Italian surfer, surfed for Italy in the Olympic Games. Uh, the last match out, Montgomery and Bale, Shevchenko and Pavin, the two skippers going head to head in that bottom match. They'll be offered around 10 past one local time, so just over 20 minutes time at uh, one o'clock local time. So that's in what, 12 minutes time or so. We've got Hilbert and Fioravante against Catherine Newton and uh, the NFL Super Bowl winner, Victor Cruz. And there we go. It's nice to see a little crowd beginning to uh, start to build around that at first tee. I'm really interested to see how Novak Djokovic plays the game of golf. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. I've, I've watched uh, the Spanish cut my name. Memory's dreadful. Uh, Nadal? Nadal played, and he really does swing it, like he swing it a uh, backhand or a forehand. And I've always said that the forehand in tennis is very much like the golf swing. You know, it's, it's, it's released through the ball and Hitting top spin on it. He, he's uh, I saw him on the range. I'm not too sure. <laughs> there he is with Kip Popert, who has been dominant on the G4D series, golfers with disabilities, which is run alongside the DP World Tour events. Kip has just won three in a row on the G4D tour. His latest victory coming at, at Wentworth. And he's won eight titles in total in that series across two years he is the world number one for good reason and i saw him at the airport with his mum and dad they arrived on the same flight and i can tell you they are absolutely thrilled to be here but he is taking this seriously he wants to win this one well why wouldn't you i mean it, it's it's a big deal just to come out here and play i know that these guys are having fun but listen you're not going to get all these world-class competitors being okay with not winning I mean, Novak Djokovic, you know, greatest champion in tennis. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to finish number two. Yes, he doesn't do that too often, does he? 
Well, I've played a bit with Shevchenko. He can play. He's a proper golfer. Yeah, Andre is actually not receiving any strokes at all because he's off scratch, as are our two captains. I always think that's a little bit... If I'm playing with one of you boys and you're playing off scratch, then I know I'm in for a hiding. I think we're, we're fine with it. We're fine giving you no strokes. I can promise you, he gave me five shots the last time we played and he beat me, so that doesn't say much for my game. It probably doesn't say that much for his game. See the names of the US Ryder Cup players. Alongside that walkway, on the other side, it's the uh, Europeans. All roads lead to this. And on the back of that grandstand, you've got, they've made it out like a bit like the Coliseum, haven't they? It is some arena. And we are going to head down to the first tee because this opening match is about to get underway in the All-Star match. And Di Doherty will be doing the introductions. Di. Good afternoon and welcome to the 2023 Ryder Cup and the All-Star match. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome onto the first tee your captains for this all-star match, Colin Montgomery and Corey Pavin. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. And without further ado, let's introduce our players for this first match. World number one G4D player Kip Poppert is teamed with one of the greatest tennis players of all time, Novak Djokovic. <laughs> And for Team Pavin, please welcome onto the tee world number six G4D player Tommaso Perino and Formula One driver Carlos Sainz. <laughs> Gentlemen, if you could come, Kip and Novak, could you come and have a, a quick chat with me? Kit, really good to see you. You're teamed with Novak Djokovic. Can we just give them another huge round of applause? <laughs> Novak, what, what does it feel like to be stood next to a, a world number one? Oh, it's, uh, it's a great relief, I would say. Um, it's, it's a great honor. Thanks. I want to thank Ryder Cup for you know, giving me this uh, golden opportunity. Maybe happens once in a lifetime, really, to be here. So. Thank you all for coming out and putting extra pressure on all of us, you know, to hit the first tee. But uh, yeah, it's 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 unique experience. I'm I'm really thrilled to be here. How are you feeling right now? Uh, yeah, this is a dream come true. I've always wanted to do this, so um, I'm really excited. And to be one of one of the greatest sportsmen ever, uh, he might get sick of all the questions, but I'm going to try to learn a lot. So, <laughs> how's your golf? Um, I rely on my partner today. <laughs> Some top tips. Have you given him any tips? Not yet, but hopefully you won't need any. So. Great stuff. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. I'm just going to grab Carlos and Tommaso, if you could come over here. Carlos, a recent winner on the F1 circuit in Singapore. That deserves a massive cheer. Good to see you. How, how is this experience? What's this atmosphere like here on the first tee at the Ryder Cup? Wow, it's uh, amazing for me. I never play with uh, all these people, and then uh, I trust in my player. <laughs> Carlos, I think, uh, is uh, normally for him. But uh, I do my best. And Carlos, how is your golf? What is your handicap? I'm, I play off nine, but I haven't play, been playing much. Obviously, I've been in Singapore and Japan recently uh, having fun uh, racing in F1. But uh, big crowds, I just wish can, that everyone can stay safe because I, I'm sure there's going to be a few balls going a bit everywhere. <laughs> we will see. The question is, who's going to win in this game? Are you guys going to win or are you going to win? It's impossible to speak before. The ball is around and uh, we'll see. Thank you, gentlemen. If you could make your way to the first tee and keep the applause going, this is a whole new environment for our players. They are the first group to tee off. 
It is Team Monty against Team Paven in this all-star match, and we are all set for a fantastic few hours of sporting entertainment. Yes, we have one Italian on both teams, Tommaso Parino there. Good answer to the question about uh, who's going to win, isn't it? And I can tell you this opening hole is a par four, 391 yards for the male golfers. And the stroke index is five. Now, maybe significant or not, but Novak Djokovic is the only player in this group who's going to get a shot on this hole because Kip Popert and Tommaso Perino both off uh, scratch. And uh, no shot either for Carlos Sainz here. Out comes the range finder. Is he going to go for it? Be a good drive. Match number one on the tee, representing Team Monty, Kip Poppert. Yeah, listening to him, he's ready. This boy is really ready. He's a great wee player too. Well, Novak is going to take the honours. He's got the driver out. It is all uphill. It's opening par four. Oh, I thought you were talking about his golf game. He does know you only get one shot. It's the answer, anyway. Straight down the middle, right? It's not bad. Not bad. And onto the tee, Kip Poppert. On to the tee, representing Team Pavin, Carlos Sainz. That was a wonderful win, wasn't it, in uh, Singapore, breaking the stranglehold that Max Verstappen has had on Formula One this season. Nice atmosphere. I love that reaction. <laughs> and on the team, representing Team Pavin, Tommaso Perino. Cross-handed grip, left hand below right. Looked like it for a practice swing, wasn't it? Something we can learn there, I Rich. I saw the same thing. No, he, was, he was fooling us. It's definitely giving me a taste for Friday morning. <laughs> That was pretty good. Just stays out and thick stuff, that's fine. So we're off and running in this all-star match.
It's Monty's team against Pavins. Here at Marco Simone. Ladies and gentlemen, match now. number two very shortly. There you go. That's a good view of this hole. As I say, all the way up the hill. It is quite an undulating course, this one. And this is the uh, routing that they will take. You can see the from the first green there. It's only a short walk, actually, up across 16 to the 13th tee, a little par three. Then you've got a couple of tough holes, haven't you? 14 and 15, Rich. Yeah, dog leg left down the hill at 14 and then coming right back uphill once again at 15. It's a... Uh, you're right, this golf course has got zero flat spots on it, except for maybe the tee boxes. But beyond that, it, it really is a great layout. I think this is going to look absolutely unreal, the pictures that you're going to see coming, you know, even today. But Friday through Sunday, it, it's going to be quite amazing. And as for those closing three holes, 16 with the water, the reachable par 4, 17 strong par 3, and then the par 5 closer as well, Sam. Yeah, well, the course, course was literally built for the Ryder Cup. This has got nothing but Ryder Cup in their minds when they're building it. There's a lot of risk reward out there. A lot of holes can be won with anything. Lots can happen. I have to say, I came here for the last few Italian Opens, and the difference in what you're seeing out there today and an Italian Open is just night and day. It really is. They have made such a good job with the grandstands, the arenas around this course. And there is going to be some atmosphere Friday morning around that first tee, no doubt about it. The Ryder Cup players have been out on the course this morning. They've been continuing their practice sessions. They'll be doing their news conferences. And then tomorrow they have, they'll take in a bit of the Junior Ryder Cup, I'm sure. And then there's the opening ceremony, of course. And then we get underway. And then it really is crash bang wallop, isn't it? Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the Ryder Cup itself. Jay Townsend, who's going to be following Novak uh, Djokovic out there today, is a huge tennis fan. He's going to be looking forward to that. So let's take a look at the swing of the dominant player in world tennis, Novak Djokovic. Well, he's a huge wide stance. He's a bit stiff-legged coming through. There's no, believe it or not, there's not much leg action. And with tennis, the amount of running about, and it's just different, isn't it, Rich? Yeah, it's interesting. I, you know, I kind of thought the, the grip, the left-hand grip, was a little bit on the weak side, but the right hand, as per tennis, it's underneath the club in a pretty good position. So the weak, the weak left hand is certainly offset by the strong right hand. And you can see right there, that left arm kind of folds pretty quickly, but that right hand, strong right hand, saves the swing. But that's a very unique finish, I must say. Yeah, the bottom half just wasn't having anything to do with it. What a tennis player, what a legend. He is extraordinary. Well, I mentioned that Jay Townsend is uh, going to be fulfilling something of a, a dream out there today because he's going to be watching Djokovic. And <laughs> well, we saw the tee shot of Carlos Sainz. <laughs> been a little bit lucky potentially because he's gone wide of the really really thick stuff but Jay can tell us potentially about the lie can you Jay he'll be petri petrified of this shot with the people all round yeah no has a good lie here <laughs> what they're doing is they're uh, playing a little bit of where he wants yeah. to hit it. No, back, hold on one second. I think Carlos is going to go first. So you're ready to go, aren't you? You're ready to rock. Um, I'm, I'm Carlos is yeah, hitting now, Jay. I want to say I'm ready, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's see after this shot if I'm ready or not. First toss in a uh, major oh, final or the uh, tee shot in an uncomfortable situation. With no competition. Felt more pressure here than what a shot. But you got the first one off, you're ready to go. Feeding back down towards the flag. Magnificent shot from the racing driver, Carlos. Doesn't ask for selfies in the car, does he? So, Djokovic. 
Looked all right. Oh, it's That's better good. than all right. That's good contact. Yeah, you're looking good. I don't know what's going on. Don't ask me. This is not normal. I don't know what's going on. Don't ask me. <laughs> don't worry about it, Novik. You just keep doing that. Don't think. It only hurts the ball club. Tommaso has a good lie here. All four players, I think, you know, just happy to get off the first, get the nerves battened down a bit. That's another good shot. I tell you, some of the pros would be happy with these shots that are in here. Just trickled off the back. It's got a bit of undulation in that green. You can't quite see it from the overhead camera, but certainly towards the back of the green, one or two humps and hollows. The G4D competitors allowed to uh, take to the buggies, understandably. Kip Popert in this fairway bunker, Jay. Well, he's not close to the lip, so this isn't much of a problem here. You really just want to hit club face on the back of the ball first. He's got a very good lie. I mean, you're looking at the number one G4D player in the world. It's really amazing what these guys do. A little bit uphill. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't hit the green with this. Looks like an eight iron. So a good connection. They're up against it though, Rich. Because Djokovic is the only man with a shot and he's nearest the pin. That's exactly right. All four players, really good opening hole for him. So it's advantage team Monty in that opening match. We'll head back to the first tee because the next game is about to get underway. Ladies and gentlemen, match number two, uh, representing Team Monty. Put your hands together for Italian surfing legend, Leonardo Fioravanti. And his playing partner is followed by millions worldwide from the group Dude Perfect. Put your hands together for Garrett Hilbert. <laughs> And representing Team Pavin, one of America's most famous actresses, Catherine Newton. And please do keep the applause going for Super Bowl winner, Victor Cruz. Uh, Leonardo and Gareth, you're here on the first tee at the, at the Ryder Cup. Leonardo, just tell us, has there been a team talk between both of you before coming on here? First of all, ciao tutti, ci siamo. Yes, it's been, um, for sure we've been uh, talking uh, <laughs> some good secrets against the, the team uh, opposing us. Good stuff. And what's your handicap? What do you play off? Uh, I'm, uh, at the moment, I'm a 20 handicap. <laughs> so uh, let's see how We'll see where the ball goes. It could <laughs> really go anywhere. You're, you're going to be part of the Olympics in Paris in 2024, ladies and gents. That is fantastic. Uh, we look forward to watching you there. Gareth, tell us, what is the strength to your game? Um, is there one? Yeah, I wouldn't really. It's just a mediocre game, but it's, it's fun to watch. So, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> We look forward to seeing your delicate touch around the green. Give them a round of applause, everybody. And this almost feels like Team USA. Catherine and Victor, um, listen, you're both really good golfers. I've seen you in action. Tell us what the vibe is like here. We're going to get the vibes going. I want to hear some screaming when I'm on the tee. That's what I came here for. I just want to have fun. I want it to be loud. I won't be able to swing unless you guys are actually screaming. So Is that OK? Yeah. Is that OK, guys? Good stuff. Um, you've won a Super Bowl, Victor. You're here at the Ryder Cup playing in the All-Star match. Life really doesn't get any better, does it? It absolutely does not. We're here in Rome. The energy's here in this facility right now. I'm excited to tee off in front of the people. Catherine's bringing all the energy. Let's go, baby. I'm ready. Oh, give them a huge round of applause. Match number two, if you can stand here for a team photo, everybody. Just grab a quick team photo. Don't forget, it is Team Monty against Team Pavin. Of course, both former Ryder Cup captains in 2010. Keep the cheers going. They're walking to the tee. Yeah. 
And first on the tee, representing Team Monty. He is literally followed by over 70 million around the world. Give a massive round of applause to Gareth Hilbert. Maybe we'll get some of the 70 million looking for his ball. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be followed by 70 million people. They might find me. Well, from Dude Perfect. Get the energy going. Uh, a sensational YouTube channel. With all sorts of world records that they set. And I'd advise you to go and look at that. He wants you to keep cheering, ladies and gents. Keep the energy going. Oh, that was quick. The highest basketball ever hold Thank out. Thank you, Gareth. You're a quick player. And on the tee, representing Team Monty, Leonardo Fioravanti. I wonder if Christian Bale's a little bit upset that he's no longer the most handsome man at the golf course. If that's 20 handicap, that's a pretty good swing, let me tell you. And on the tee, representing Team Pavin, Victor Cruz. Super Bowl, Bowl winner. Rich, that's, that's huge. Huh? That's massive. And, and to win it uh, over the Patriots. That was, a, uh, that was quite the Super Bowl. I'll never forget that. That was uh, never seen a more dejected Tom Brady in my life walking off the field. <laughs> Whoa, there's some speed there, isn't it? Wide receiver for the uh, Giants in that Super Bowl triumph. 12 years ago now, back in 2011. Forward goes Catherine Newton to the women's tee. On the tee, representing Team Pavin, Catherine Newton. <laughs> Catherine, Leonardo and Victor all get a shot on this hole. Oh, way to go. This is like Broderick Harrington, isn't it? Broderick never looked like that, trust me. She was a good golfer in her youth. A very good golfer, yep. Yeah. Notre Dame High School team is going to play in the 2012 US Open and then got offered a starring role in a film. She's happy with it. Pretty good there. Catherine played in last year's Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship, which comes up next week, and really enjoyed that experience. A little bit warmer here in Italy. Just a skosh. Great takeaway. That's great extension going back. Love how she just basically gets that whole body turning back. I mean, look how far back she gets those shoulders. I mean, you just, there's a lot of good positions there, Sam. A lot. Yeah, she's definitely got game. <laughs> right, from the first tee, we can uh, wander up towards the green in the first match where we are hearing that Novak Djokovic has two putts to win the hole for Team Monty. This will tell you how he's feeling. He's got nerves of steel. I'm not sure he's got any nerves. And that's them. They're definitely going one up. Well, he's looking around. Are they going to give him that one or are they going to see it? Mark it. Any coin will do. <laughs> No, there we go. So the first point on the board in this all-star match, and it goes to Team Monty. Early stages, of course, long way to go here. That's a really good view, isn't it? Out over the course, the first right in the middle of your picture. 
You've got the par three seventh just on the left hand side there. You can just see the bunkers short of the green. There's Victor Cruz and Catherine Newton. Wonder up the opening hole. Two good tee shots there, guys. Yeah, both look like golfers, that's for sure. And they've both got a shot on this hole as well. So Catherine plays off eight. And Victor's an 11 handicapper. They're both getting five shots over these seven holes. Well, even Zorro wore a mask. They look like bandits to me. <laughs> be at all surprised if an awful lot of practice has gone on for some of these guys and girls. Ona Stephen has made her way to this match. I certainly have Dolomite here and it is still so warm. It is like being in a cauldron out here. That was an intense first tee and they all cope very well, I've got to say. Kudos, the nerves were palpable. Who's first oh. away, Iona? Uh, down the left-hand side, looks like Cruz is in the second cut. Looks like he's got an iron. It's uphill, plays uphill, but it's down the breeze at the moment. So he's got a good angle into this green. Got to navigate over the left, the right edge rather, of the bunker up there by the green side. He's come out low. Well, it's come out lower, it's hit the front, perfect. He does have a shot, so he's there in one. I think we could probably make some money with him. <laughs> After a great par at the first, it's a little bit fat here. And he, he did tell us at the first he's a bit nervous, and rightly so. So the uh, second hole of this all-star match is the par 3, 13th. And Kip has a pitching wedge. Both Kip and Tommaso obviously scratch players. Number one player in the world here. Won a couple weeks ago at the BMW PGA Championship. So obviously he's in good form. Ten surgeries, Jay, on his legs and his feet because of his cerebral palsy. And he's overcome it all to become the world number one disability golfer. Yeah, he gets through the ball great, doesn't he? Obviously, going through after impact, the left foot moves a little bit, but the action until impact is really good and repeatable, obviously. And both Kip and Tommaso, they're used to dealing with pressure on the golf course, unlike Carlos and Novak, who are having a chat back there. Professional sportsmen, they love exchanging stories and comparing things. Come on. Excellent. Very good shot there. Back to the first, Catherine Newton to second from the fairway. I think she might be enjoying herself. Now, where did that finish? Does it matter? <laughs> Back over to 13, the second hole, and uh, Carlos Sainz. And Carlos just has a wedge, pretty strong grip, ball back in his stance, strong setup, and wow, Great good shot. contact. Oh. Great shot. All in he one. needs to get down. Oh. I tell you what, we're seeing some high quality golf, aren't we? I'm glad I'm sitting in here instead of out there trying to compete against these folks. Back to the first, and Garrett Hilbert second. He's in a long way down this opening par four. Well, this is exceptional. Go in. Oh, 
Wow. I mean, leave it to the guys that basically have trick shots. That's their gig. And nearly dunks it on his second shot. I mean, it almost looks like he tried to play that shot. That is something else. And as he said, he's fun to watch. Leonardo Fioravanti playing his third shot. Shame because he does get a shot here. That's a bit long. Well, they are strong, those surfers, aren't they? Right, the final match is about to get underway. Back on the first tee, down to die. Match number three, representing Team Monty, a gentleman who has played in eight Ryder Cups, the winning European Ryder Cup captain in 2010, and he never lost a singles match. Put your hands together for Colin Montgomery. <laughs> Wales international and footballing sensation Gareth Bale. <laughs> and for Team Pavin, um, a gentleman who played in three Ryder Cups, a former US team captain and a major winner, Corey Pavin. <laughs> is AC Milan legend Andrei Shevchenko. <laughs> wow, what a match we have in store. Colin, you're playing with Gareth. Gareth, just tell us on a scale of one to 10 how nervous you are right now. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a bit out of the comfort zone to say the least, but um, I've got a solid partner in the Ryder Cup hero, so I'm, I feel a lot better about it. I think, does he have a solid partner, everybody? <laughs> certainly does. Have you given him any tips? I don't have to. I've just found his handicap scratch, so I don't have to worry about uh, Gareth Bale and the golf course. Uh, this is a slightly different environment. It is, but he's, uh, but he's performed in front of a lot more people than here, so he's okay. I've, I've got great confidence in him. You are up against Corey and Andre. And Corey, we have to point out 2010 Celtic Manor. At the moment, it's one up to Colin. Is this payback time? I don't, I don't remember Celtic Manor. Did something happen there? Does I... anyone remember Celtic Manor? <laughs> we kind of do. Well, we finished second, so that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, but now, it, you know, it was good fun in 2010. You know, it was real close, one, one point. Uh, we certainly made Europe nervous on the last day. I remember that. But, uh, you know, the Ryder Cup's fun. It's, you know, it's a good, healthy competition. And, you know, both teams want to win badly. And one team has to, either, well, I guess you can have a draw, but uh, that's the way it is, and it's it's just a great event. You know, every two years, it's incredible. I mean, I've been fortunate to play on a few. I captain one, and I'm glad to be here this week. It's going to be a fantastic week. The atmosphere here is electric. This this first tee is going to be sensational on Friday. It's sensational right now. But Andre, have you done a lot of practice for this? I know you're a very good golfer. Yeah, I've been practicing a little bit. It's a very important event. For the last six weeks, every day, all day. <laughs> Hello, Rome, he says. Hello. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. If you can make your way to the first tee, you are our final match. Keep the applause going, everybody. Uh, just a quick team photo, in fact. Just a quick team photo for our final group as they prepare for the first hole here at Marco Simone. Thank you, gentlemen. My goodness, we've seen some great tee shots so far here on the first. Will we see some more? I have a sneaky suspicion that we will. So as they wander towards that first tee position, we'll go up to the green. And this is Victor Cruz, and this is to win the hole for Team Pavin. And how do you like that? Three for two. That works every day. Yeah, Net Eagle from the former wide receiver. 
Back to the first, Di. On the tee, representing Team Monty, Gareth Bale. I think he likes that. And on the team representing Team Monty, Colin Montgomery. On the team representing Team Pavin, Andre Chevchenko. The left hander, Andre. He doesn't mess about. You played a bit of golf with him, Sam? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He loves to play. He's one of the nicest people you could ever meet. And he'll feel at home in Italy as well. He spent several seasons playing for AC Milan, the club's all time leading goal scorer. Just a bit outside. That's over on 17. Yeah. And on the tee, representing Team Pavin, Corey Pavin. <laughs> Fantastic player, Pavin. Played with him many, many times. And he was part of the U last US Ryder Cup team to win on European soil back in 1993, Corey Pavin. Great pair of hands. Chris, do you play a lot with Corey? I have on the Champions Tour the last couple of senior whatever they call it now, but uh, senior oh, no, senior tour is Champions Tour. That's how that's my memory's going just like yours. But yeah, played played a few times with him and uh, yeah, educated hands. Right up to the green on 13, which is the second hole of the All Star match at a birdie part for Carlos Sainz. We're hearing that hole has been halved. In that event, no side gets a gets a point or a half point. So it stays at 1-1 overall. The all-star match, Team Monty and Team Pavin. Djokovic and Popert up against Sainz and Perino. And Newton and Cruz have just managed to win that first hole with a net eagle. Working out the shots in the bottom match is going to be a little bit easier as we watch Victor Galileo. Cruz. Galileo. Galileo. Just made that birdie net eagle at the first, but that's a little wayward. Yeah, got all of that one. <laughs> what age did he retire in American football? He's 34 or so. Yeah, he's 34. 34, 36, something. yeah, it's kind of whenever your body can handle it. I mean, Tom Brady played until, what, 41? So just whenever your body can uh, decide it's had enough. Yeah, what position you play as well, probably, doesn't Quiet, it? Please. Yes. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. There's no mulligans, that was a provisional, yeah.
Why, surely you're allowed at least one more within a round. That seems only fair, a wee breakfast ball. Let's see then, Garrett, he's on the tee. That was an absolute monster drive for him off the first. He is fired up, 119 yards. A little oh, bit of a headwind. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful tempo. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go, baby! Oh, let's go, baby. Oh, let's go, baby. Some of these shots have been seriously impressive so far. Yeah, there's been some good golf in here, Beamer, particularly from Garrett. Next up, the man who can surf. This is going a little bit right. It's a beautiful little hole, the 13th. It's a quick front nine, I'll tell you that. Garrett does a bit of surfing as well. Ba -boom. Ah. Well, the first fairway is on the left hand side of your picture. We are going to move over towards, and Rich Beam was absolutely right, the seventh tee to find Andrei Shevchenko, who has hit a little bit of a wide here. And Wayne Riley, radar, is yeah. out following this match. Has to, rem has to remain in this one. Yeah. Neil Briggs is in there. Hello, everyone. Monty's going to have a crack first. He's got himself 154, and the flag set all the way back right off an upslope. Roll back the ears, Monty. Doesn't look like there's much change in that swing, radar. No, loose as a goose in a noose. Too far away from where Victor so Cruz just told out there at the uh, first. Just watch where it lands this time. If it does it again, you play. One yard closer, okay. one five three. Yeah, watch him yeah, weave his magic. I don't think there is a, there has ever been a professional golfer that can weave around a golf course like Corey Pavin. That's a little soft draw. He can draw it. He can fade it. Anything you want. And then you give him the putter and <laughs> look out. He's just wandered into the little bowl at the back of that green, so it will be quite swift. We'll come back to that match in a moment. First of all, ahead to the 13th, the second hole, remember, of Catherine Newton. Very good. T shot here at 14. Pretty generous area on the right hand side, but your eyes are drawn to the bunkers down the left. Perfect. Yeah, that really is, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, this doesn't look quite so good for Gareth Bale back at the first. Certainly got through that well. No, a little unlucky, just catching the bunker. Strong arms. That was seriously impressive getting in out of that hay. Some of the rough you're going to see this week, that is thick. I mean, that looks like it could hurt. Starts settling down in there, all of a sudden you just kind of come up and like, ooh, I think I broke my arm. Lucky Woozy's not playing, but I might lose him. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that, but I mean, I was kind of thinking it too, but you said it. He's one of the only people who could get away with it, Rich, to be honest with you. Right, Radar, what's going on here?
Has Shevchenko played yet, Radar? Yeah, he has. He was way off and he acted it over a stand. Here, Sheva, how you doing? Here it is over the right-hand side of the green, down in the fluff. Gee whiz, this, this rough is thick this week. He'll release it out. He's got this shot. He's been my partner on several occasions. Take a chair. Does he claim the same thing as being your partner? Because a lot of times, Radar, you and your your partner self, they don't, you guys don't fare very well against others. No, we, Sheva and I don't disappoint. Oh. Uh -huh. That's down his third, out of the sand, so he'll have that part for a par. I'm going to give uh, Corey Pavin potentially a little bit of a read there. We'll see if Monty's paying attention and concede the putt. Good looking swing out the trap, just the sand's your friend. You've got to hit the sand first in these types of shots and just let the the momentum of the club get in, lift it out. And that was beautifully played. Just went a little bit far, but very nicely played. 150 yards here for Novak. Good lie. He was wondering which of his tennis rackets he should hit. He's, he's got one he says he can hit 150 yards. Going first or? How much spin can he put on it, though? Well, you know, I asked, he said, this is a 150. I asked him, well, what's the poundage? I think 150 pound strung racket might be a little bit too tight to get this far up to the green. He just giggled. This is a daunting second shot here, Jay, isn't it? It really is. You have to get it up to the green. You can't leave it short. It'll come down a big, steep bank. Oh, no. Uh, heading over towards the right bunker. It's amazing how he turns it on when it's his turn, but he's so open and chatting with everybody out here. Really cool to see these guys just relax in a different arena. Tommaso next to play. It's downhill, side hill, lie. And this is where, you know, his injured right leg is a little bit more difficult. A little breeze in his face. Looks to have a four iron. Oh, really good strike. What do you hit there, Tommaso? Yeah, good shot. Uh, I, I feel the wind in back. Uh, I strike a little bit more harder, a little bit longer, but uh, my worst all the, in, the, in the Italian Open, that one, and then uh, I'm fine there. All right, good <laughs> shot. Keep up the good work. Carlos out of the second cut of rough. Now, you got to remember, these professional sportsmen, he might drive a car, but I want to tell you what, this guy is seriously fit. Plenty of speed. And both he and Novak, you can see amazing head and eye coordination. They make solid contact. Tree in front of him should not be in play. We're going to see a lot of that this week. That rough is just seriously brutal. So nice out. Gets it up to the, you know, 20, 30 yards short. Well, back one to the 13th. This is Garrett Hilbert, and this is for the victory for the point. Beautiful tee shot. Couldn't quite finish it off, but it's a good three. And to the first, and Monty. Up and over the hill, right to left, ever so gently. Wants to straighten over the last five feet. Oh. Oh. I think Monty and Pavin have a wee deal there. I'll give you every three foot you've got. 
You give me every three foot <laughs> up, go. And they wouldn't be wrong either. Like, yep, you got it. Not a problem. Up to 14 again. And uh, Kip Popert. Jay, how far? He's in the neighborhood, I think, of about 140 downhill, play shorter than the yardage. Ball slightly above his feet. Great lie in the first cut of rough. He's asking it to be good. Certainly was, just a little bit long. All right, back to the first, and this is a birdie putt for Corey Pavin, and this is to win the hole. Not quite great line from Haven, but that will be conceded by his illustrious opponent, Mr. Montgomery. Now, I didn't see. Does he still use the old bullseye putter? I, he does normally, I, I'm, but he does go back to a, a blade answer style putter. So I'm curious to know if this is actually his set or if he's just borrowing some for the day. We are all tied up in the early stages of the all-star match. Team Monty won, Team Pavin won here at the Ryder Cup venue, Marco Simone. And in the bottom match, you can see there that uh, has been tied that hole, so neither team get a point. Same at the 13th for Hilbert and Fioravanti against Newton and Cruz. So, Team Pavin remain one up in that match. There's the tee at 16. That'll come into play a little bit later in our All-Star match. And it has been very warm this week here in Rome. It really has. Temperature nudging up towards about 30 degrees Celsius. That's just a nice, comfortable temperature. Not where we come from. Well, no, in Dallas, it's pretty hot. R radar will agree with me, though. It's a nice, comfortable temperature out there. Oh, it's lovely. Absolutely marvellous. Nice crowds out here. Don't we know that. This little par three is a beauty. 145 yards around there. Doesn't look like that. I'm sure oh, it no. is. 117 today. 117. So I've been... Shever, just a wedge for you here today. 117. Yeah. 117. Yeah, yeah, wedge probably. Corey, yeah. is that is that putter of yours behaving? It's not you. Oh, it is. Yeah, don't you worry is about that. Putter that. Behaving? It's yeah, not okay. You got you, you got your work cut out with Gareth right here. It's uh, it's all he does is play golf. Good man. Yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah, well, what's, the, what's the yardage here, lad? 17. 117 for the pin. Four on for you, Colin. Four on. Keep it down. Keep it down. Hope it chases on. Right. So, Gareth, do you want to keep going? Yeah. Our leader, 117. Yeah. Gareth, so, Gareth, what is it? A gap wedge, Gareth? Yeah. Yeah. Got a little backstop there, you're just going to land it behind at 125 and zip it back. He's got a shirt on back the front. Okay, your partner. Looks a handy golfer, Monty. He's off scratch and he can see, he's played a lot of golf, you can see the, the tempo, you can see the, the position. <coughs> How does he afford that? Expect a good one here from Bale, not far, 117. All over it, just to the right of it, just behind it maybe, with a little bit of action on it. Exactly like that. Monty will sort it the other way. 
He just sees it. We all know that. He's one of the greatest left to right player the world has ever seen. He's got an uncanny ability to be able to hit the ball pin high consistently. That's what made him such a great player, great match player. It's just about as simple a motion as you're going to find out there. Just takes it back and just drops the hands. Club right on the back of the golf ball. Shevchenko, everyone speaks of Shevchenko, AC Milan. Come on, where's the Chelsea? Where's the loving? Great Chelsea player. Is there any chance he's available? <laughs> hey, we'd have both, wouldn't we? Shevchenko and Bale. <coughs> oh, this is mint. A little low draw right at it. No, the best hands in golf, Redo. Right. Oh, yeah, this has just been so very different. Played his own way. Shinnecock. Four wood at the last. You'd remember that, Samuel. Six feet. He missed it, but he still won. Another one at it. Oh. Still got it. 1995 US Open champion Corey Pavin. Carlos has his putt up and over a little bit of a mound. At the end is going to want to go left to right. Very difficult to not miss on the right. He should be good at picking lines being a driver. A shot here, Jay. Sam, Science does, yeah. he does. Uh, let me see here. He does. That's a birdie. Novak gets a shot on every hole except the 13th, and Carlos gets a shot on every hole but the two par threes, so 13 and 17. Tomasa was very happy with that second shot. Not far from the hole, but this is a defensive putt he's got coming up down the hill. just eyeing things up. He told me on the tee he was very surprised how slow the greens were. He expected them to be a lot faster. Now this putt will be fast. Downhill, down grain. You have to give it a hit to get out of that first cut of rough and then just let gravity take effect. Slow down. Yeah. Very nearly just did slow down. Very nearly hold it. Well done, Tommaso who was one of Italy's leading golfers before a uh, very nasty scooter accident when he was still in his teenage years. He's a club pro now, teaching pro down in Tuscany, beautiful part of the world. This putt for Novak, this is for a five, for a four. He gets a shot here. He didn't learn anything from Tommaso's putt because it was going way too fast to get a read. It should have a little bit of left to right initially. Pulled it, pulled it down the line and went wide. Called it out. A little bit of pressure now on Kip Popa because he's got a part from, what is it, three, four feet maybe to uh, Ooh, tie this every hole. Every bit of dominance uphill. And he was commenting on the tee. He said the greens are slow. So let's see if he made the adjustment. No problem at all. Uh, the number one disability golfer in the world. So that hole is tied. I miss calling it halved. There are a lot of people who do. Gently uphill for Monty. Doesn't want to move a whole lot, this. 
Shevchenko hit a great putt, just waltzed by the right lip. Gareth Bale next to go. He got a nice read off Colin Montgomery. Sort of feeling this one might have to go, Radar, with Pavin in close. You would think. It's got a little swing and left to right in it, so he'll be mindful of Corey's difficult putt. As long as he, he looks handy, Gareth Bale, with the putter. He really does. He had a wonderful putt on the first hole today. Very handy. Just didn't hit it. A little bit of grass still on these greens, a little bit of nap. They'll shave them down as the week goes on, as the days go by before we get to the get-go of this Ryder Cup here at Marco Simone. But back in the day, if you look at Corey Baven, and you were playing match play, stroke play, anything, and you gave him this putter, oh, my word. He'd cripple you. But not a gimme. Or is it? But it is for the win. Yeah. And the All-Star match is tied up once again. And there's a point to Team Pavin. And it's going to be two apiece. No. They'll head over to the 14th tee, which is the third hole of this All-Star match. We'll head down the fairway at 14, Iona. What a shot that was from Catherine Newton, way out of position down the left-hand side. Not a problem, she is some golfer, let me tell you. And Garrett here from Dude Perfect, who's got the whole gang out. He's absolutely striping it, he's in his element. Took the tiger line off the tees in the first cut. Just a wedge. Pin in the back. Beautiful hole, 14. It's not going to be too attractive from down there. No. That is uh, kind of about the place you really don't want to be. Djokovic, driver. <laughs> He seems to have gotten better as he's gone along. Novak, oh dear, that's uh, it's a better swing, but it's not a better result, I'm afraid. That is deep. I went too much to the left. So, <laughs> Kip brought up, sorry, Dom, Kip brought up a five wood, a three wood, and a driver. And much like he did on the previous hole, 14 T, throws the cat the others aside and grabs the big stick. He's got the ability to air it out. It's amazing his trajectory and ball speed. And he can take that first bunker up the right side out of play. Can he take the second bunker out of play? That's the question. Oh, you better believe it. You know, funny, you know, looking at his swing, it, it really is sound all the way through. The foot action, obviously, it's because of all the surgeries. But funny enough, there's professionals with footwork that look a lot like that. Scotty Scheffler. Scotty Scheffler would be one of, obviously, but it's uh, <laughs> it swings it well. So the bottom match, the final match, featuring the two captains, has reached this 14th hole. The tee wall forward today. So the bunkers down the left hand wing aren't in play. They'll just whip it straight over the top. Shevchenko will set up for a fader. If he goes straight, he'll run out. He topped it. That's what it'll do to you, playing in front of a lot of people. Almost a scratch marker. And domes it. Nice. What shape will we see here from Corey? He can hit it both ways. I don't think we'll see the fade. I think we might see a little loopy draw with some run. Top spinner. Go! Go! Yeah. Bounce. Bounce, yeah. 
not quite. Still gives it everything. Doesn't matter what he's playing and what he's up against. He says he out here for fun and you know winning is just whatever. Eh, I'm not buying that. Not even remotely. Gareth will just pumble this. Good swing radar. Huh? Oh, good. Yeah, really good. Strong lad, obviously tall, athletic, runs like a gazelle. So everything that you are not. I don't know. At least I don't call him Christian. I know. Listen. You know me. I, I, I mess up every single day. At least I got it out of the way early. <laughs> what a player Monty has been. Still is on the Champions Tour. Yeah, it's such an effort. The swing right now. There's just nothing that can ever go wrong or change. Never injured. Have you ever known him to be injured, Samuel? No. <laughs> and by his own admission, he says, I haven't got any muscles to pull. That's exactly right. He can't pull fat. As John Daly rightly As says. As John Daly rightly says. And that's a man that would know. That's pretty much position A right there. Couldn't waltz it out there any better. <coughs> now that's an absolute peach from Montgomery. It's a reload for Gareth Bale. Great turn through the ball, which is some takes a long time to learn that. So it's just follow through. Wow, that's beautiful. That would be better now. Yeah. Sorry, you get no more. There's a great player lurking in there. He's taken it right over the corner there as well. He's going to leave himself a short shot. Up to the green and the fourth shot from Fira Vanti. Our Italian surfer. He's got a couple of shots on this hole and on the next, 14 and 15. So, great chance for them to get another point on the board for Team Monty, but Newton and Cruz will have something to say about that, no doubt. Mahona is down there on this 14th. Yes, yes, I'm down here. Well, we've got a birdie net eagle putt here for Catherine Newton. She's looking at the ladybugs. She is absolutely loving it out here. Chatting to the crowd, signing loads of autographs. She's in her element. And this is makeable. She's had a, a lot of time to assess what this putt's going to do because everyone else has played many, many shots. It's going to go up the hill. She can give it a good run. A little bit of break in it. For the net eagle. Oh, no. Oh. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Still be good enough, though. You know, no? Yeah, that'll be good enough. It looks like it could be going two to the blue in just a moment. Right, we are hearing this for Fioravante is for bogey, but net birdie, because he's got a couple of strokes on this hole, so this would be to tie the hole. We've been an amazing birdie. Yeah, I've got Catherine alongside me here. Sorry about that part there, Catherine. That just looked like it didn't have enough porridge. Listen, it didn't, didn't have enough, but I will say I hit a great shot, and I'm really excited about that shot. Yeah, it was a good shot. Golf is the kind of game where... You just can't be upset. I'm not good enough to be upset about anything. <laughs> I don't know. From what we've seen, you are plenty good enough. And that was pressure right there. But I do want to make the putt for the fans. Because, like, they were hyping me up. I was hyped up. And then I just, like, forgot what to do. Oh, so man. I'm not going to do that this time. I got, like, five holes left. You got a lot of time. A lot of golf left. No, and there's you're... no golf left. There's... I have to do it now. <laughs> we have to do putts now. Make them now. So All that's right. what we're going to do. We are rooting Let's for you. Go. go blue. Go blue. Over a night from 14. Well, I think you can say that uh, Catherine Newton is into this, isn't she? Just a little bit. Just, you know, I need it right now. This is it. Love that. And that means that Team Pavin lead this all-star match. Three points to two. 
They'll be heading over to 15, which is stroke index one of these uh, seven holes in this all-star match. This is Djokovic in the deep stuff. Oh, don't do it. Oh, I hope he hasn't got tennis coming up soon. I know. Oh, don't, please don't try and do it again. Something like this. Throw it. Just throw it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. This is one way you should use a tennis racket. I got it, I got it. I found it. <laughs> See what? That's funny. That rough looks exactly like the rough at Carnoustie in 1999, where you could move it about three feet and still take two minutes to look for it. Oh, I just missed him chopping out of that thick rough. So that he's there in four. Does get a shot on this hole, so net three. And he's got his partner right down Main Street. Got nothing left. Tommaso, a little bit of a downhill lie, uphill, second shot, wind behind. Out of the second cut of rough, this is the doable part. Looks to be about a six iron. No chance of stopping this if we're to land on the green. It's going to be short. Good connection there for Thomas. Just that rough is really tough to control it. Carlos actually hit it too far. He hit it through the fairway. Beautiful drive he hit. But now he's faced with a difficult shot, but a good angle. Ball's going to be below his feet. And if you think drivers aren't fit, this guy, he might be more fit than Novak. Yeah, for someone who doesn't play that much golf by his own standards, he's, um, he seems to be hitting it pretty well out there, Jay. It is. He says he plays a lot in the summer. I had a chat going down 14. He says during racing season, he might get to play once every two weeks. I was surprised he didn't get the odd day away during a race week, but he says, nah, very rare. Plays a lot of his golf at La Morleja in uh, Spain outside of Madrid. Of course, we played a lot of Spanish Opens back in the day there. This is a tough shot. Ball below his feet, deep rough. Kip, that was a great tee shot. Set up a good uh, second shot here. What do you have in? So I got one two eight playing one three three up the hill. Uh, winds down off the right. Uh, just hit a little nine iron just right of it, hopefully. And what is this atmosphere like? I mean, you play in big tournaments and all that kind of stuff, but how different is this? Uh, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I'm. I think it's pretty cool seeing all these people, but then still being able to focus on what I'm doing. I'm really enjoying it, and uh, you know, I've got some family members and some people from my home club here, so it's been great fun. All right, knock this one up there. I'll give it a go. Thanks. Yeah, Kip played in the uh, the RNA's Tournament of Champions last year at St Andrews. He played alongside Tom Watson. He said that was a huge thrill. That is really solid contact. Excellent. Showing his class there, Kip Popert, the uh, number one disability golfer in the world, to 14 and Monty second. Ravens played, he's just short. So we chance for Monty here. Oh. Oh. Well, they almost made it a two, didn't they? Don't, that was, uh, well, we've seen it so often over the years, Monty. Eight time Audra Merritt winner in Europe. Seven in a row. Beautiful, you hear the strike. Oh. Almost a hold out for an eagle. So we know that Gareth Bale took a provisional ball from the tee. This is his fourth. It is a par four. Wasn't 
too far from pitching it straight in the hole. <laughs> to 15 and the fifth shot for Novak Djokovic after his problems in the rough. <laughs> Touch just a little bit off there. The guy wanted a souvenir, then I guess he was watching baseball. One of the best in the game over the years, short game wise. That's a little shy, but tough bunker shot from long range there for Corey. Andre, splash shot, just trying to bounce it and then release it to it with a little bit of check. Pretty good. He can see anything. <laughs> Wonderful hole. That bottleneck's down there, and the rough is seriously thick left and right, just past that bottleneck. So when we see the matches this week. It's going to take a brave man to take this hole on. I think we'll see a lot of guys lay up, kind of, and have 155 to 160 in. Well, team paving up against it. I remember Monty's uh, got a birdie putt up coming. Carlos has a reasonable lie here, but well below the level of the green. Oh, move to the low pitcher. What a good shot from there from the Formula One race car driver. That's hard for a guy that plays all the time. Yeah, fantastic technique. Didn't uh, open up that blade whatsoever. Just kind of kept it square, trusted, used the bounce. Gareth Bale so competitive. He was all over Monty, jumping up and down when Monty hit that into there to about eight feet. So, so very competitive. That's why he was a champion footballer. What, five times champion league winner with Real Madrid? That'll work. Yeah, 15 trophies in all in his nine years in the Spanish capital, playing for Real. Slicey putt for Andre. For a bogey. They're struggling here. You've got to be thinking this match is going to go back to all square. We well, hope. You must expect your the opposition to hold everything. That is rule number one in match play. Yeah, and if uh, Pavin doesn't hold his part, then Monty's got two for it from about eight feet. Mind you, he's held a few of these in his days. <laughs> yeah, not many. And it's quite strange to see him, Sam, without the bullseye. Yeah, we're kind of deciding that he's got rentals out today because he still uses it on the Champions Tour. Does he? Well, he did in Morocco. He was in Morocco at the end of last year. And it was the same old Corey, same method, same everything. They're not giving it to you, Monty? <laughs> Wait, what do you want to see the first one or what? To see if I can hold it or not, so. Oh, yeah. I'll give it a go. <clears throat> nice to see Monty. Very relaxed. He's really funny with a pencil in his hand. <laughs> So that is the win, that is another point, and we are all tied up once again, three points apiece in the match. Great stuff. That's what the game's all about. Up to the 15th green, Jay. Well, this is for a par, this would be a net birdie, so... Carlos and Tomasa working hard on this. Should have some left to right swing at the end. Of course, Kit Popert has a birdie putt coming up, so this is a putt to put a little pressure on Kip. Ooh, 
not a very good lag, was it? No, nah, mark it. Any coin will do. Just a little in a circle of love. That is way outside the <laughs> circle. That double the circle. So he's got that for a five net four. Because science gets a shot here. Pope at wonderful approach shot. He did. I asked him walking up the fairway. I said, what was it like teeing off the first hole? He says, I've been practicing for months. He said, I was prepared to be very nervous. He says, I wasn't. I got up there and just smoked it. He said, I hit it so good, I didn't think I could reach that bunker that I drove it in and won. So Kip is much more calm than he thought he was going to be, which is really cool. He's really enjoying himself. Ah, to win the hole here, right to left her. Looking pleadingly there for it to be given. Well, there was a discussion, Sam, and no answer. Nobody. Carlos at all. wanted to give it, and Tommaso was like, nah, "I don't think so." These guys are out here grinding. Let me tell you. Number six G40 player in the world, and Tommaso, and against obviously Kip, the number one player. So there's some pride going on. Now this is a bit of a uh, self-inflicted challenge. This is every bit of five feet and is going to break from the right. I think you take the high line, feed it in there, of course, missing has no consequence. You miss, you lose a point, just for a net par. Certainly was trying to take that high line and just die it in. He's doing a little bit of begging over there, I must I say. Would. I would. I listen. He begged, I would. And he, oh, they're going to make him. Oh, now they're going to go back. So they had Carlos go first. Tommaso is just in a nasty lie over the green. This would be his fourth shot. We're going to see this a lot during the week. This stuff is just nasty. What a shot. Great touch. But it does mean that Kip will have that little one to gain another point for Team Monty. I think he's still begging a little bit. He picked that up and threw it back to Tommaso quickly. There's nothing in this. They just want to check his stroke out. He can handle it. And with that, Team Monty take the lead once again in the All-Star match by four points to three. So they've got 16, 17, and 18 to come. That is the state of play here. 4 3 to Team Monty. Djokovic and Popa with two points. Two points to one in favour of Team Pavin in that second match. And then one apiece in the bottom game Montgomery and Bale against Pavin and Shevchenko. Ten points to win. The All Star match. Well, they all look as though they've settled down now, don't they? Like yes, the initial nerves are gone. Definitely. I was wondering with Carlos Science how hard he holds the putter. How tight it holds it. Does it Does look it, like it's slightly too tight for it you? It looked a bit tight there on that little putt you had, because in golf you meant to just hold it like holding a couple of eggs, and obviously driving a car that goes at 200 miles an hour, I wonder how tight he grips that. As tight as he needs to. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever that is, that whatever that pressure is, just enough to control that car. Yeah, when you're shifting to about 200 miles an hour, you want to hang on, don't you? That is for sure. Well, it's great to have them here and taking part in this first all-star match, which, of course, is a prelude to the Ryder Cup. In fact, we've got the conclusion of the Junior Ryder Cup taking place on this course, on the Ryder Cup course tomorrow. And then the Ryder Cup begins with foursomes on Friday morning, Europe against the United States. An Irish chap come up to me in the breakfast room this morning and said his grandson's playing. And... Uh, he was six down yesterday after ten holes in the foursomes and made six birdies. We're on the tee at the sixth day. I'm joined by Tommaso. You're playing a fantastic game. Yeah, yeah, I start uh, quite good. A little bit of uh, pressure in, uh, in my body and uh, some shot is a little bit clean. But uh, I hate the, the hole that we play before the 15 that uh, catch me out also in the um, Italian Open. It's very difficult because the ferry is very close and the rough is heavy and you must catch the ball fly high with the five iron. I don't do that and we, we lost the ball, but uh, the hole. But now there is three, three holes that we can do better. Right, I think Novak is about to tee it up. I'm not sure if he's going to take the tennis racket or the golf club. I think it's best we take a look. Amazing. 260 yards today, his 16th hole. Yeah, that's probably a little bit out of reach with the uh, the tennis racket. Novak was going to lay up. He had the iron out, and he kind of got goaded in to go for it. And Kip said, yeah, go for it. So a little bit of uh, going on here between uh, partners. I think it's a pretty big hit for Novak to get it over. It's quite steeply downhill, this hole, isn't it? I don't know whether there's any breeze out there today. Let's. Oh, sensational. That is it. That is sporting greatness right there. Playing up to the crowd as well. <laughs> Novak, come join us. Listen, I, I think you might be a bit of a, a handicapped bandit because you've been playing some <laughs> sensational golf. Jump in the middle here. Oh, my gosh. Come on, jump in the middle, Novak. That was a sensational shot. You were going to lay up and then you went super aggressive. Uh, crowd made me do it and uh, I'm really happy they did because I, I wanted to go safe. Uh, my caddy and I both agreed to be safe. Uh, we didn't like the, the water there, but um, I'm just happy my partner and the, and the crowd encouraged me. So I, I, I hope it looks good there. Let's see. Yeah, might be on the green. <laughs> I, don't I think it could be. <laughs> Pleasure. Thanks for your time. Oh, that was a great hit from Novak. He's really enjoying that, especially when it was going against his game plan. Kip has less than driver. It's got the three wood out. Green is easily within Kip's reach. I love the fact that he encouraged Novak to go for it. And Novak, being the champion, is stepped right up, nailed it. Can't quite tell, but it's up there close to the green if it's not. And it's a, it's a good thing, Novak. Your partner just hit it left. <laughs> well, he doesn't have to worry too much, does he, with Djokovic virtually on the green there. So, Perino with the driver.
Oh, what a kick. What a shot. What a match. That is some reply, isn't it, from the Italian Torino. You heard him talking earlier about playing in the Italian Open here. He knows this course well. Science also with the driver. over into Popa country and beyond. Carlos, come have a come have a little chat with us. It's not maybe not the drive that you were you were hoping for, but listen, there's still a lot of golf in this. Talk to me. How have you found it so far? You see, you seem you seem to be in the zone in these other holes. Yeah, I was playing okay until I got to hit driver, here, <laughs> which it was probably not the smartest thing in the world, but uh, I had to try with because we're too down. So. And I think Novak was playing super aggressive. It was a great shot from him. Sometimes you're chasing it. Sometimes you go for glory at work. Sometimes exactly. maybe you, you give yourself a little bit more work. Yeah, and we came to play, you know, and have fun. Of course. So why not? Why not try? Um, a hundred percent. How have you found the atmosphere out here and the, obviously the big stands and the crowds? How have you found that? Ah, oh, it's incredible. It's, I've never played golf with crowds. You know, it's a completely different experience because suddenly the course is a lot narrower, and you feel for the people out there that, that are <laughs> trusting your game when you know you're not uh, fully under control. But uh, uh, yeah, I enjoy it. The crowd has been amazing, and that first tee is a uh, feeling that I'll never forget. How do you deal with the nerves? You used to getting in the zone pre-race, pre-qualifying, but this is completely different. This is completely different because I'm not under control. No, in, in the qualifying in F1. I know exactly what I'm doing and I obviously trust 100% my abilities because it's what I, <laughs> I know doing best and I've been doing it for 20 years, no? but uh, uh, when you play golf, for us amateurs, you know, to control the ball with this stick is very, very difficult. So uh, yeah, you just have less, less control as, as you can imagine. Carlos, thanks for your time. I'll let you go back, get a bit of golf to play. Enjoy and good luck. And just to reiterate, it's not the traditional sort of match play format. You're just getting points for your team. So every hole that you win, you win points. So all the matches will go down to 18. And then whoever's got the most points at the end will be our, our champions. This is Fioravante to win the hole at the 15th for Team Monty. I think he gets two strokes on this hole as well as 14. So that was four for two. And that's five for three. <laughs> right back down this 15th hole problems for Shevchenko again he's been struggling a little bit out there today Pavin's in the rough by the look of it Bale two and Monty the only one in the fairway here a little bit of a nose dive a dom for Shevchenko he's got one nine nine Take a great shot to get it on the green. Serious elevation change. Green's perched well above the players. <laughs> Over in a little group where they've got some bean bags happening and some deck chairs. The light looks good, radar. Yeah, it's not too bad. He's not hindered, so it's uh, it could have been worse. But gee whiz, it's a long way back. Just moving the, the gallery back. The stand or the, the hill behind this green is chock a block. Just be careful because I'm sure. He'll try to run this in there, and there are three bunkers protecting the, the slope here, front right. So he can't really go at it. 199 with a little help in the air, elevation change. So if he gets club face on ball correctly, this will come in hot. Look out on that hill over the back, Shevchenko Hill. Looks like to be a, maybe a driving iron, something like that. Yeah, a little kind of driving iron. It's a lot of club. If he gets club face on ball, look out. This thing will come in like a missile. Get down any time. Oh, great 
Well, it's over the green. Now it gets really fun from there. Between the lie and the tree and the green that slopes away from you. Holy oh, oh, for Carlos here. Oh, that's magnificent. What a shot. What great hands. An amazing shot from Carlos. Kip now pitching over the bunker. This is all lie dependent. He said after Novak drove it on the green, he says, I don't have anything to lose, just go for it. So he's not really worried. Pressure on Novak. Yeah, well, like Carlos signs, Novak Djokovic gets a shot on this hole, so he's um, pretty much on the green for net zero. Nice of a putt for a hole in one. <laughs> there he is, just on the right hand side of your screen. That is the ball Novak. Djokovic. You could probably sell this tee shot on. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh How good God. was it? Oh my gosh! I don't know what to tell you. It's it, it was a an incredible feeling when I heard the echo roar of the crowd around the the green because that meant because I haven't seen where the where the ball bounced, so I didn't know whether I went too far or I went in a or bunker or whatever. But then then they told me it's on the it's on the green basically a four green which is one of the best shots i ever hit in my life honestly under the occasion yeah at just the perfect time yeah, now perfect time. you lie zero you get a stroke here yeah now what are you yeah. thinking about for a chance for a net one. Oh my god you know i wish but let's see you know i gotta commit to this shot that's for sure and i'll i'll do my best um i'll i'll, I'll sign right away if i have a two putt here but um yeah, I'm going for an eagle, so I might as well just go for it. Your best is better than most. Good luck. And this is far from an easy putt that Novak has. It looks like it wants to break more right to left than it does in the first two thirds. He is grinding. Listens to his caddy until the caddy said lay up on the tee. Is this one of those putts, Jay, where you want to make it, but don't three putt? Yeah, no doubt about it. He know he just said it. I mean, he'd take two putts right here and, and walk to the next tee. He'd probably run up there. He's, he's kind of fit. But I don't think it's a seriously fast putt around the hole. It's a bit shiny, so it's down grain. Well, the trouble is you try and lag it, and you end up six or so feet short, don't you? You know, Sam told me a couple of years ago, and I've never forgotten this, you never lag. You try and hit it dead weight. He said, lag is not a positive thing. Never knew you ever listened to me, Jay. Well done. Thank you for that, dear. Oh, Sam, that was that was wise old words. He has a good setup here. He tends to hit the putt online. Let's not forget the putt at the first hole and the second hole, the well at the 13th. Both had good distance, and that's all that's required here. Oops, it's going off in his hand. Yeah, not going to be happy oh with that God. one, I'm afraid. Okay, you got another puff for it. Puff for it's interesting to watch the best in the world get embarrassed about something they do outside of their sport. <laughs> I was trying to think of the tennis equivalent. I mean, it's certainly a double fold, isn't it? But we'll see. We Dom, I think that was a double fault on set point. Not match point, set point. No doubt. But it is an uphill putt next, isn't it? For him. It Kip is. Pope first. This is a slow putt uphill right to left. I think he's really just showing Novak the line, isn't he? Because Pope is pretty much out of this hole. It's going to be a bogey five for him. No shots, obviously. Science on the green in two net one. Perino hit a good tee shot as well. Ooh, there's a big team read going on here. Kip is going to point out the line. 
they know how important it is because let's not forget Carlos has a putt for a three net two they're looking at this going left to right now the key is he needs to hit it pretty hard this is a very slow putt this for a net two Yeah, look at it. The anchor goes down. Kind of conceded that to himself. I like his style. You know what? That's enough. That's good. A fabulous tee shot here from Perino. Well, they got two chances here, haven't they? They got one from Sites. This one from Perino as well. Novak telling the crowd needs to work on his short game, but uh, it is just so much pressure for these guys. And this is a big putt for a two for Tommaso, breaking left to right. Just, That's good. Pick it up. To, yeah, pick it up. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good enough for the half. So now science has got the uh, the opportunity to a bit more be a bit more aggressive with his putt. Don, this could potentially be the up and down of the week, including when the uh, real thing starts. It was an amazing shot to land it there and actually stop it short. It had a lot of spin on it. So this is going to be left to right. Probably has started outside the left edge. This is for a three net two. And for a point to Team Pavin to level things up again at four each. Uh, well Unlucky, probably a good putt. <laughs> Just a half. Nothing changes hands. <laughs> Just to reiterate, no points to either team. If the hole is tied or halved, they'll head off to 17, the par three. We'll go back to the tee here at 16 and Io. Long wait on this tee. We've been having a right blather. Catherine, she's a born entertainer. She's absolutely loving it. You can see some of the American flags have come out. She's still chatting to them. She's the hype woman for the blue team. She really is. And it's a fabulous hole. Drivable par four if you catch out the screws. It's been a bit hit and miss today for Victor Cruz. He's had a cheeky little top off the tee and a few others that are questionable, but let's see, this could be his moment. There's a huge gallery around here. Currently playing a little bit crosswind from right to left. Maybe a bit of help in the air as well. He's teeing it nice and high. Crank this one up, baby, let it fly. Well, I think if oh, well, it's flown all right, it's, it's probably in my arm. All right, that's on the roof. That's uh, big cricket, that's six. Can we get up Correct? there? Six runs. Okay, that's what I thought. At least the shot. contact is back. Did you say he was a wide receiver? <laughs> Indeed, yes. He needed someone wide there. He is loving it. Garrett, he's been in his in his element today. Take some quality golf shots out with a three wood. Going down the left hand side. He can get, get there. Yeah. That's handy. I think Catherine maybe got a wee bit excited on this tee shot here. Ayana. Say that again, Sam. Well, that, I thought it was Catherine's choice. I think she'll be a bit excited on this oh, yeah. tee shot. Oh, where's this one off to? That was. Oh! <laughs> oh, they're getting their money's worth out of this hole. Oh, that's going to be an interesting second. <laughs> I like to know the distance between between where Victor Cruz's tee shot went and where that one is. That's got to be some kind of record. <laughs> That's headed down back to the first tee. They're itching to get back in there. I tell you what, guys, it is scorch you out here. Seriously, this is a whole different kind of heat. And Catherine Newton has been in prime form. She's loving it. 
She's some golfer. Played at college. Still enjoys golf in California. She's flown over from Los Angeles to be here. I'll give a shout out to her sunglasses as well. They are glamour. Those got some serious pimp to it. Look at this. She might take off. Serious club head speed. Listen, she's got the big dog out. She's going to take this down the left half and just squeeze one in there between the bunkers. Let it trundle up to this prickly pin. This is a Sunday pin if ever I saw one. Short left. That is gnarly. 230 yards, Iona, downhill. She might have to take something off it, might she? She might, yeah. Just a wee grip down one. Zero taken off that one. And she finds the green as she... Garrett, you... You said we spoke to you a little bit earlier. You like you like the pressure; it focuses yeah. you in. You stood on that tee box and you g'd the crowd up, and it, <laughs> it seems to work for you. Yeah, I I like it louder than more quiet. It just uh, I'd rather listen to people talk than just my own thoughts in my head. So <laughs> I know, mate. You've played a few of the pro ams. How much different is this event yeah. to the pro ams you've played? Uh, I mean, number of people and uh, you know just the. the pressure it's that it's the Ryder Cup you know you're playing for a trophy at the end of it and definitely definitely way more just way different but super fun I'm having a blast we know dude perfect are famous for their incredible trick shots have you got anything spicy planned for for <laughs> the next couple of holes maybe I mean I would love to maybe hole out this bunker shot which would be nice for the fans so that, that's all that's all I got planned maybe a hole out bunker your caddy had ultimate faith yesterday yeah we're having a drink we're talking about maybe even an ace but you know <laughs> Yeah. We're past the par three, so it'd have yeah, to be special. I, got, I, I, I did pretty good. I, uh, I think I was like five feet on the par three, so that's as good as I can give you. <laughs> it's as good as I can get you for an ace. Well, come on then, mate. I want to see you hold that bunker shot and yeah. send the crowd nuts. <laughs> come on. Yeah, it depends. Depends. If I'm, if I'm like standing on the grass, it's going to be a tough one. But man, I'll, I'll give it my all. I'll give it my all. Garrett, yeah, you got absolute it. pleasure. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. and good luck. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Yeah, yeah. Well, no shot for uh, for Garrett there on that uh, 16th hole. Catherine Newton does get a shot, so does Fioravante. This is Monty at 15 with two putts to win the hole. If you need two, take two. That put them three up now. Well, it means they've got three points. So we're going to see a change in the uh, scoreboard overall. There you go. Monty's team moved to five points to Team Pavin, who have a three. And it's looking good at the moment for Team Monty in this all-star match. Are you glad it's not the f same format? On Friday. Yeah, I, do you know what? It is a little difficult, isn't it? When you're so used to uh, to the Ryder Cup, to the President's Cup and the Solheim Cup as well, which was such a great event last week. Right on the tee at 17, Tommaso Perino. Challenging par three, this one. Got to say, from all the way back. One of the pros are going to be playing it later this week. There's just not a lot of green there. It is so slim. We gave it the big build up and then he put it to four or five feet. There yeah, you go. it's actually a very easy par three. Impressive. You could definitely sell that one there in the week, too. Right, back a hole to the 16th. And well, I own a talk us through this one. Well, we're all over the place here. Dom. Uh, so you're down the right hand side, I think, with Fioranzi. This is going to be, this is a really tricky shot. I mean, looks like a bit of a bare lie. Maybe he's lucky with a couple of blades of grass under the ball. But he's got water to carry, a bunker to get over, and he's going to be landing on a down slope. It looks like Sunday's put it on the tee. Well, him. yeah, I mean, I think he could I actually maybe water. open up his driver and probably, you know, get it to spin uh, as good as that lie is. It's, it's pretty nice having some hometown fans to help you out. Cruz is a long way back there. 
he's, he's coming in from over 100 yards down the left-hand side. <laughs> they actually found it, or they just kind of guesstimated? Is he up on top of the 10? Right, this could go anywhere. Hold on to your hats. Off the down slope, down the hill. It's coming in hot right at me. Oh, saved by the belt. Okay, over to Fiorenzi on the right hand side. He could skim this one. Why don't you could just take out a six iron, give us a little skim over the water? That would be fun. Take us to Augusta National. Oh, you're safe. Oh, good try. I like it. Take her out. Good. All right. Oh. Catherine Newton having to be uh, put in some fancy footwork to avoid that one. It's not supposed to be a contact sport, is it? I, uh... <laughs> I think anything's uh, up for grabs here at the moment, Dom. Anything goes. Garrett's going to be leading the way, as has Catherine. Look, you were right, Dom, off the tee. She needed to take something off it. It's too big. She can really give it Laldi off the tee, and she's going to be... Yeah, is you, Catherine, it's you. Yeah, she's just making sure. She knows the rules. She's got etiquette down. She's just wanting to make sure she doesn't play out of turn. So she's got one hand on the hip, just getting ready to play this. This will be pretty pretty simple for her, to be honest. Bread and butter stuff. Off a little upslope. Oh, no, she's not going to go. She's handing the baton back to Garrett, who... Yeah, this is a this is a tricky little bunker shot. Ball below the feet. It's lying quite nicely. He's got a tidy short game. Plenty of loft on this one. He's got to whip it into the air. Oh, it wasn't too bad given the circumstances. Huge gallery up on this bank. Wonderful to see the crowds. Coming oh, out here, and oh no, no, that was out of character. That really was. Do you know what? She's got a shot on this hole as well. She's just used it up there. That is a shame, isn't it? He's <laughs> very curious to swing. We'll have to see. Well, there you go. Cruz, her partner, went ahead and uh, got that within a few feet. Taking a little bit of the heat off of Catherine now. <laughs> Back to Catherine then. Looking for the old linksy chip and run. She needs to get out practicing a few of those before she heads to the Dunhill links next week. Well, they both have a shot, so they're both there in three net two, Newton and Cruz. Well, we're nearly all on the green. Not quite. Leonardo looks like he's going to be chipping in this rough. My word, it's great to be up and in it. But it's not just how thick the rough is, it's how thick the individual blades of grass are. They themselves look like they've been growing with some extra, an extra juice. Don't know what they feed the grass out here, but this is really juicy and it's sticky the way it grips the club. But as a surfer, you see the size of his forearms. They're nice and strong. He can get through this grass, no problem. It's Onto that downslope, though, this is not easy. Played it well. The other thing about the grass, I own it, it just goes in every direction, it doesn't it? You never have the grass going with you or against you. Well, this is a birdie putt. Left to rider, he was so tickled with this shot. It was an amazing shot, and like Sam said, he'd be able to sell this one come Sunday. Yeah. And a great two. Yeah. Isn't it just wonderful birdie from Perino? And it is another point to Team Pavin, so 5 4 the advantage to Team Monty at the moment. Just the par 5, 18th to come from them. Quite a wander up the hill to get to the 18th tee. 
<laughs> we'll go back to the 16th, Iona. It wasn't to be, but she, she certainly gave it a good go, did Catherine. Now it, it's Garrett's turn. This is third shot, the 16th hole. Up the hill, this is going to break a little bit from right to left. Looks like the grain's going wet, so it's, it's not going to be too slow. This is a very important part because we've got a couple of net birdie putts to come. So this to pile the pressure back onto the blues. He's drained a couple of nice ones today already and he's not really getting any shots out here. So it's tough work when you've got a low handicap in match play. We've seen this a short while ago, how slow it is, but it doesn't matter for, and that was dude perfect, wasn't it? For Garrett Hilbert. Came to play today. Certainly not afraid of the limelight with 70 million followers on uh, social media, YouTube. That's uh, seriously impressive. How many followers have you got, Beamer? Uh, 12, including all of my including my parents, my kids, my wife, my dog, <laughs> um, and Sam. I was going to say, and all your friends, and you say something nice, nice to nice. me. <laughs> <laughs> He's just not, uh, isn't it? His partner's got the birdie. He's just getting his money's worth, isn't he? He's loving it. Rinsing every single shot. He is the sort of least experienced out of any of the golfers out there, Leonardo Fioravanti, a relative newcomer to the game of golf. Meanwhile, his crews, this for a four net three. This is a real knee knocker. This will get the heart rate spiking down the slope, a hair of break. What's he got? What's he made of? Oh! Would you believe it? But as tough a lip out as I've seen. Shame. And the scoreboard changes once again. It is Team Monty six now, Team Paven four. Gap back out to two points. <laughs> we'll head off to the 17th tee. And we can wander back to the tee here at 16, radar. Good 260. Gareth, you got 260. You got yourself a driving iron there, yeah? Wind out of the right hand side. <laughs> I'm not talking anymore. Absolutely cannon hold it up against the breeze. This is just right of it. Just right of it. A 260 downhill, what's that? 10. Little wind, 235-ish, and he just goes sailing over the green with an iron. Monty, what's the story? Is it a little fader here? Traditional stuff? Off the left hand side, just fade it in there, yeah? Yeah. 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 I'll never forget the driver he hit at Dubai to win the, the Emirates course. Over oh, water, yeah. cut it in. Hopefully he's nailed it and no, gets it over not. the water. I have not. That's terrible. <laughs> Oh, it's dry. It's okay, Colin. It's all right. That's the first shot he's missed. Captain Donald, if you get a sickie, Monty's ready. Oh, dear. Shevchenko got himself a three wood. Had the iron out, changed. He's due a good one, Radar. I've not seen him hit one yet. No, the ball's way too far back in his stance. He's ripped this one though, down the fast lane, left side. That's a good bit perfect. 
Magnificent shot from the Ukrainian footballer. Sheva is as comfortably known as. What a tee shot. Draw or fight, Corey? What do you think? I'm going to attempt to hit a fade. Okay. Last team I'll ball start a little low. I'm hopefully I'll start at left. The wind has been moving a little. Well, we have a caddy over here. Yeah, we have an American one at that. Flashed up, it just pulled a little. You, you, I think you wanted to take driver. No, I didn't. But your caddy forced was, you to take the two iron. No, it was the opposite. You wanted me to hit a soft driver. I went, no, two iron's good enough. I don't know where it ended up, to be honest. But um, I was happy with the strike and the line, so I can't complain. Mate, to be honest, it's an absolute joke. How you can be so good at one sport <laughs> and then hit a two iron that flush. That was insane, mate. I will take it every day, because we spoke, it could have gone anywhere. But um, yeah, I... Uh, yeah, I was happy with the strike, happy with the line. The outcome is irrelevant. <laughs> you've, you've been in some high pressure situations, you know, you've taken high pressure pens, played in Champions League finals. What does it feel like when you, you stood there, the crowd goes silent and it's just you, your thoughts and your two eye? Yes, yeah, there's a few dodgy thoughts coming to mind, I'm not gonna lie, but um, you just try and concentrate and just hit the ball and just, it is the opposite to football where obviously it's a reactive sport, so you do have a lot of time, but you just try and connect well and Hope your swing <laughs> withstands the pressure. <laughs> having that, having that time to think on the tee, would it be like taking a penalty literally every shot when you're playing in front of crowds like this? Yeah, no, a penalty, free kick, kind of a. Dead Except ball. they put the ball yeah. miles away behind the, yeah, behind the stand. It's a lot smaller, and the club is not the same <laughs> size as my foot. But um, no, yeah, it's, it's it's similar to a free kick to a penalty. So I was a free kick taker, so it does help a little bit. I have a little bit of the routine kind of to do the same in golf and it definitely helps. Describe your, your game today in one word. Oh, erratic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to finish, Gav. Enjoy, Thank head you. to the green, we'll see you later. Thank you. I, I like the fact that he said all the dodgy thoughts. I'm like, he's just like all of us. He's one of us. He has dodgy thoughts like we do. I'll tell you what though, he scored some great goals, didn't he, for Real Madrid, for Wales as well. Team Monty ahead here at Marco Simone. That's the dude. He's had some great shots today. I like his name. Perfect. That's going to continue Getting. to get better. To the 18th and Djokovic. It's a par five this one. For right! Oh! For right! If you could offer him one piece of advice about his swing to get to, to improve, what would it be, guys? For me, he's got to work his legs. It's just his top half that's hitting the ball, which I guess is a lot like tennis. But he needs the top half of your body to work in conjunction with the bottom half so he can get a bit of rhythm through the ball. Yeah, it's the same exact thing that I see. It's just that, you know, he's all upper body just like you would be in tennis. Just got to try and teach him a way, figure out a way to how to get that lower body moving green, green. to, uh, no, no, to help increase the speed and you know, get just a <laughs> little more rhythm in it. Well, there's rhythm and sync there, isn't it? But she has belted that one through into the penalty area. Catherine Newton at the 17th. Uh, probably a little bit of adrenaline flowing. Rhythm and sync, can you hear it in the drink? Sorry. I that was that was beautiful. No. <laughs>
Now, this is a tricky little shot that Pavin's left himself here at the 16th. Trying to play a little spinner. Oh, that's classy there, Rich from Pavin. What hands. We said it all day, they're great hands. Certainly that uh, element to the game has not lost him as of yet. <coughs> There's going to be some action around this area Friday, Saturday and Sunday. My goodness me. A wonderful life for Gareth Bale. Sitting up lovely, back in the stance, just trying to pop it. It's really quick, just a trickler down there. And he's played it very nicely indeed. Very good. Wasn't it just exquisite from Gareth Bale? Now that's a shirt. Two of them. Monty's are sitting down a little, Beamer. But geez, you, you never lose the competitiveness. Up a little slope. Still got it. I don't know if I've ever seen him smile this much on a golf course ever. There's no pencil. That's very true. It was always the hardest club in the bag for many players, me included. It's funny, I always had my caddy carry the... He actually filled out the scorecard as well. I wasn't allowed, you know. It wasn't allowed? Well, I did it for 14 years, so <laughs> find me now. <laughs> We'll take back that PGA <laughs> and your PGA Tour wins, Rich. Listen, yeah. That's fine. I'm keeping the cash because <laughs> it's already spent, of course. But the pencil basically just means you've got to keep score. Doesn't really matter who writes it down. We were speaking, Corey and I, on the tee. We, we all got together, and he was speaking of that putt, that six-footer on the last at Shinnecock, and he said that U.S. Open week that he won there at Shinnecock, that was the only putt inside 10 feet he missed all week that'll work just gently out of his right and it straightens a little it's always nice when you can afford to miss a six footer on the 72nd hole isn't it he couldn't at the time though wasn't last out was he no no i there was others coming out i of think there was somebody chasing but i think they were on 17 and they made bogey in order for him to have a two normal wasn't lead. it Norma or Floyd? I know. I think those were the f two in the final group. Shevchenko down the hill for a, an eagle two. It's quick. I mean, these, these greens are going to quicken up with the warm weather that we're going to have all week. A little bit of breeze, so they'll get firmer as the week goes on. It all depends what Captain Donald wants. Does he want them to r remain quite soft? I'd imagine a little firmer. He'd want them, not too much, but just enough. Well, this is for another point for Team Paven. to be but still going to make uh, Team Monty earn the uh, tie. Up to 18, Djokovic drove it uh, left off the tee, pitched it down to here, so this is his third. Come on, come on, come on, be on the pin now. Excellent shot, looked good as soon as he hit it. <laughs> Can relax now, Novak. It's the last hole. See, he's kind of turned through with it there. That was better. Monty missed his birdie putt. Now, this putt doesn't move as much out of the right hand side. As you think, I watched him 
putt so many of these around the hole in the putting green and he didn't miss from this length. And he doesn't miss there either. So that hole is tied and it remains 6-4 in Team Monty's favour. Where are we going here? Up here. Up here. Yeah. Up here. Yeah. Got it. We were debating. I said, I said, said don't give it to him. Whatever it is. Do not give it to him. If you are just tuning in, in this uh, all-star match, we've got three games uh, taking place out on the course. We'll go to the second match. That's at the 17th. Wonderful tee shot from Garrett Hilbert and a chance to win the hole, Iona. Yeah, this is a huge putt. What a tee shot it was. Is it going to break? Oh, oh. oh no. A, a three. Feels painful after that quality, quality tee shot. So that hole is halved or tied. <laughs> we'll head up to 18 once again. Well, it's been an interesting hole. I saw one of the best shots I've seen all year. Kip Popert hit just an absolute laser up there. He's just inside of 20 feet for Eagle. I mean, it was an absolute flush. Carlos hit it in 10 fairway. Novak is walking past saying it's the walk of shame, but he's three on the green net two. So Novak and Kip are both putting for Eagle. Tommaso hit his second in the water, so yeah, not looking good. And Carlos hit his second way to the right. I want to tell you what, Novak Djokovic has given so much, signed autographs, signed golf balls, given away, interacted with the gallery. He's absolutely loving it. When you see a top level sportsman, when they're in their arena, they're so switched on. He is giving everything back today. It's truly amazing to watch. Jay, have you let on that you've got a cat called Fed and a cat called Nadal, is it? For not Fed what? and Rafa. No, Fed I haven't and told them. I haven't told them. No, I, I couldn't do that. Oh, no. you wimp. <laughs> you, <laughs> no. come I on. Couldn't do it. Nope. Nope. Well, you will hear the coverage later. <laughs> <laughs> and Dom just told them. Thanks, Dom. Oh, I didn't mean me to in. let that one out. Sorry, did that? Oh, really? Oh, I think that was probably in your bike. notes. <laughs> All right, Carlos is way up into the stands to the right. It's going to be Tommaso first from the first cut of rough. This is his fourth shot after dropping out of the penalty area. He knows he needs to hold it. Five or anything higher is not going to do any good. Rafa and Fed, eh? You'll never get away with that now, Jay. That's out the bag. <laughs> yeah, it's, thanks, it's, Tom. Everyone knows. Yeah, I am a huge tennis fan. It has been a true pleasure walking around and chatting with Novak and and uh, see his love for the game and love for the sport. I mean, these guys are just really enjoying it. T talking to Kip walking down the fairway uh, just now after he hit that great three wood. You know, he's just like, this is cooler than anything I've ever been. This is my first Ryder Cup. This is what an experience. And uh, I said, Kip, we're going to be out here all week. Just walk around, enjoy it, take it all in. There's nothing like the Ryder Cup. All right, now Carlos has split the sea of fans. He's off to the right. He is behind the grandstands to the right of the first tee. Now, let's not forget. He lies two, okay, net one. And he hit an amazing shot from a similar type of position at 16. That was just truly an amazing shot. So plenty of green to work with, much more than 16 going into the breeze. He's grinding, trying to maybe not lose another point. Gee, is that his brother walking around with him? I'm unsure. They look identical. <laughs> they all have family and friends walking around. I mean, it is just truly an amazing experience for all of these players, no matter where they come from, sport or in our case, in this group, G4D. And now this is the third shot again, but this is net three. He will lie net three when this one lands, gets a shot here. Or excuse me, net two. That's three, he's two. He and Novak are both towards the front part of the green, both fly net two. 
It's almost like he was given the his wedge to one of the fans to bless it or something. Give it some little good juju or whatever. Or maybe to play the shot for it. Yeah, maybe. Tommaso, he needs to hold this. He knows it. He knows what's going on. Plenty of green to work with. Novak. You drove it on the green. I'm three, so I'm going for four, uh, for five. You get a shot here. Uh, we, so, get, we both get yeah. a shot here, yeah. So you lied to Redemption for 16 here? Sorry? Redemption for 16? Redemption for 16, uh, yeah, I, I think so. What are you seeing here? I had um, I had a couple of good advices from my partner just now, so I'll try to use um, use those advices and tips for this spot. It's really far. Um, I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to commit to it because it's it's uphill, and I'm gonna try to get it close to the hole because my partner is there for two. So. Well, you're both for two. Let me ask you a tennis golf question. Does dealing with pressure in tennis help you in a situation like this with all these people watching? Uh, yes, it does, but uh, it's a completely different thing for me, obviously, playing golf and tennis. I'm not used to playing golf. I've never played golf in front of this many people. I'll probably never play ever again in front of this many people. So uh, it's been an experience, and I must say, I'm, you know, considering my level, I think I'm playing quite well. But uh, I haven't finished, so please. You've hit a lot of good yeah. shots. Knock this one in. <laughs> I think the challenge here is going to be getting it to the hole. The first half is slow. Once you get past the halfway point, it goes up a shallow little ridge. It's going to want to break right to left. His practice stroke is too short for the putt he's getting ready to hit. That's been the case all the way around. That's got to be frustrating to be so good in a sport that requires a lot of touch and power to get up there and that thing's just not moving and you can't figure out how hard to hit it. Uh, and your right hand's just taking control. Yeah, yeah. Was it uh, Dean Martin that famously said that uh, you know, as much as he likes tennis, he just can't stand playing it because every time he chases down a forehand, the ice keeps spilling out of his glass? Sounds very Dean Martin. Yeah. The rumors are it was all a act. Oh yeah. Did you hear the same thing that yeah, a lot of times it's a, it's an act? Yeah. He was really good at it then. You say the guy's not drunk if he can lie on the ground without hanging on. <laughs> Tommaso, it's uh, Carlos to putt first. This is for a little bit of redemption, but. Never had a chance. Popert is how what you would think of the sure four. Now Carlos has a putt with a lot of meeting right here. And he's this had a like teach, Novak, he's had a this is for teach. a birdie and a net three. Potentially, he should have learned something from Novak's putt. Really? Oh, he's given that a rattle. Oh, well, that's the same distance he left himself at 15. Well, Kip's going to come in and steal the show. Well, this is a really easy putt, Sam, because there's not much break to it. It's downhill. It's one of those putts that you just get it started on line, has a great chance to go in and pass the hole. It flattens out a little bit. It's only the first half that's really downhill and it levels out some. He's read it from every side, just to win. Go on, go on. Oh, would have loved to see that go in. That been a great moment for him to finish off on. The four might still be good enough. Yes. 
Petrakovic and Kuiper win this hole. Team Monty moved to eight points, four points clear. We're looking pretty good in terms of the win in the overall match. So this is a big part. This is for Birdie. Parnet Birdie for Carlos Sainz. You wouldn't expect Popert to miss. Ooh. And here they have given Kip Popert his putt. So that is another point on the board for Team Monty. And our first match is complete. Now, we are getting news from the 16th of the putt that Victor Cruz had. And we're hearing that there may have been a slight scoring error there, and it, it means that the match is going to stay at 7-4. Let's get down to that uh, 18th green side. We can join Beef and Josh. So that's it, Novak, the end of the game. I mean, it was it was a fantastic show of golf from you. From someone who was a little bit nervous yesterday, you really, in that pro athlete style, come out and performed when it really matters. Yeah, well, thank you very much. I take that as a great compliment, but it was all about my partner today. I think he, uh, he delivered his A game and it was just so much fun, you know, obviously walking around and exchanging some uh, great experiences that we have in our respective sports and I just admire admire him so much and 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 of course people who are who are uh, playing the disabled golf the way they do it's it's incredible and I was telling him about the wheelchair tennis players that I really have been admiring over the years and it's just just inspiring so inspiring and uh, it was a great pleasure great honor and of course I want to thank all the people for coming out for making it extra special and uh, as, it, as for my level of my golf, I, I actually have to say I'm pleased with because I haven't been playing much, but uh, played some really good holes today. Kip, how has it been for you today? Obviously playing in front of these crowds here, playing with an absolute tennis legend as well. Has it all been? Uh, yeah, it's been incredible. I was telling Novak that, you know, I've had a lot of operations in my life and as a kid I'd visualise what it was like to be in, you know, scenarios like this and what it would feel like. I actually can't believe how comfortable I was um, and having one of the greatest sportsmen ever just be an absolute gentleman and make this experience wonderful was, uh, it was great fun and I really enjoyed it. Guys, we'll let you go. Novak. Thank you. Yep. Pleasure. Pleasure. Fantastic yeah. game. Well Dom, Cheers. back to you. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Yeah, and Kip will have been mining uh, Novak Djokovic for a bit of information there. He likes to learn from the best. Now, Paven for a much-needed win. Not quite. Corey was up there. He was he was actually saying, is that good? Is that good? And Monty said, well, of course it is, because I wouldn't want to put that one from that distance either. So, yes. And you'll have noticed top left. The score has changed again. And we had a few gremlins in the system. And it means that Team Monty lead by two points. And there are two points still available as the last two matches come down the par 5 18th here at this Ryder Cup venue. Marco Simone Golf and Country Club, the city of Rome. It's been a lot of fun, boys. It's been great golf. Kip was probably the star of the show, as uh, Djokovic said. Yeah, I think that uh, watching the, uh, the very first hole, watching the first couple groups go through, I mean, the amount of quality shots, I think all of us in the are going, ooh, okay, this is, uh, is going to be fun. And it has been. Here's Victor Cruz. Oh! Oh! Uh -oh. Timber in the right half of this beautiful finishing hole. 
but the nerves, they'll get you. Reminds me of the last hole in Hawaii, with the big par five over oh, yeah. and down the hill. Yeah, the Kapalua. Uh, comes in off the right. When you say reminds me of Hawaii, I was thinking uh, the Shankopotamus reminds you of Hawaii? What? I couldn't quite figure out what was reminding you of Hawaii. I found it! <laughs> hey. I think that was... Uh, it's good news, Sam, right, it's good I news. We've been on a hunt for Catherine Newton's ball in the juicy, juicy grass, and we found it. So good news is she doesn't have to go back to the tee to play another one, and she will be next to play. I think I need a lot of loft. He's out the third cut. There are four cuts of rough down this fairway on the left-hand side. So she's in the thick stuff, but it's a par five. She's just going to have to try and hunt this one back over this fairway bunker and leave herself a little wedge in, back into the breeze. She's going to need to muster right all her strength, though. So down the grip, okay. plenty of loft. Don't be greedy here with this rough. God damn. It'll just all gobble right. you right up. Thank you for finding this ball. That was not easy. Beautiful look at this uh, 18th hole at Marco Simone, Iona. Yeah, well, you couldn't play a place a ball better than Garrett's here, middle of the fairway. What a cracking final tee shot. Hats off to this man. He's played some superb golf. Yep, that's He's just got a wedge in his hand on a bit of an upslope, back into a little bit of a breeze, so he needs to control the spin on this one. It could trundle into the sky. Keep it low. There's water down the left-hand side there, but that's a beauty. Sit. I noticed that some of the rules that usually apply to golf kind of get brushed over here you know lining players up like that i mean listen if i were uh, team paven i might uh, say hey wait a second here you know i'm trying to get back in the match somehow right so 149 yards for catherine very similar lie to that of Garrett, but a little further left. So a slightly better angle to take this flag on. Like you say, there is water down the left. That's a no-go. So she can keep this a little right of the flag. A little bit of help from right to left with that wind. With the nine iron. Well, it's a beauty. She's going to leave her rest tonight with all these practice wings. Great shot to finish her day on. Well done, Catherine. She's got a great attitude. I love it. It's like, you know what? I don't care. This is, you know, don't worry about bad shots. A little bit of hurt in the air off this 18th tee. A bunker down the left hand wing, but for Gareth Bale, it doesn't exist. It isn't wide down there. It sets up for a draw that most players will aim at that bunker and slide it. I don't know how Gareth sees it. Gareth, what do you see? A fade or a draw? <laughs> you're not, you're not going to sort of call a shot? Um, Come on, hit a nice fade off that bunker for us. Okay, so you want to turn it on it? Cool, okay. <laughs> Just pulled a little bit, absolutely knuckled it. Strong, you nailed it. You said I pulled it, I did. Just like 
Just as normal, Colin, just uh, fairway? Yeah, I know. That's why you drove us mad for so many years. Little down the right hand wing, should catch a piece of it. All right, up to the green. Fabulous, fabulous reception for this group. An emotional moment for Leonardo Fio Ravanti saying he was organized to play in this event four years ago. The man from Rome, he'll have a moment in just a few seconds. Back to Cruz, he's putting from off the green. Has it got the legs? This needs to go. Oh, still a bit of chicken on that bone. Well, with Team Monty two points ahead and only two matches left on the course and just this 18th to play, the time has come because Team Pavin need to win this hole. They need to win in both matches to square up the all-star match and take it to a playoff. That's for three, three for two. And there you go to win the match. Well, it wasn't a bad effort, but uh, it is definitely outside the uh, zone of friendship. I don't know why somebody didn't go over and tell him this is to win the match and really kind of see what kind of reaction we get from him. He's looked a pretty cool dude out there today, oh. hasn't he? Garrett Hilbert. Newton for the birdie. Well, we know she can play. This is not a tricky putt, just off the left. She will get excited if it goes in, I can tell you that. Oh, she hasn't hit it, shame. been conceded so it's a five net four for team Payden. there for Victor Cruz who we think as he did hit his second into the rough on the right hand side the Shankopotamus as uh, Rich Bean called it and we've got a couple of chances here for Team Monty to win this game and to win the match as well it's going to be Fioravanti the Roman first up Don't leave it short. Well, they must 
win the hole, mustn't they, team play? Then the tie here is not good enough. And I think I'm right in saying here that Garrett Hilbert has got a couple of putts for it from here. to win the All-Star match. Well, he would have loved to have made it, but it doesn't matter. Nope, they're going to end up with six points. Best Paven team could do is only get five points, so my, uh, Team Montgomery is going to win the uh, Celebrity All-Star all-star match. Yeah, congratulations to uh, Team Monty. And I would say it's not really about the result, it's just about the, the fun they've had out there and showcasing this Ryder Cup venue, but uh, I have the feeling one or two players out there might think differently. No, it's about winning. Yeah. Sam would want to win too. I wouldn't want to lose. That's exactly right. 18th hole, here we go. Has he, has he lost it? We're speaking about the, the US Open with that forward. Out again. Just waiting for the green to clear. A lot of excitement <laughs> down there. Eventually. It's been fun. <laughs> These matches. A, a lot of fun. Everyone's enjoyed it. Little wind out of the right hand side, so he'll set up for a nice little fade holder against it. Mm. Not ugly. That's fine. That scoreboard is wrong there. It is is six four. They did half the last hole. The group in front. Or tied. <laughs> I've no change. Yeah. No, I know. No, it's... no, I'd halved. We're in Europe. A <laughs> good call. Huge drive down here. We've got a fail. Shevchenko trying to flush one in there. Oh, this is a duff. This is not his best. He hasn't been at his best today, Andre, but he'll fight another day. He's as keen as mustard. Radar, is that a, a sneaky camera going across on a wire? Up in oh. the air, in front of you. Not Can sure you see it? I think it is, which will be fantastic during the week to use that. Yeah, I've got that. Yeah, I tell you, it looks so close, but obviously it's not in the ball flight. He's been unbelievable this afternoon, Colin Montgomery. He's played very well indeed, off a little upslope. He's a showman. That's a four iron. That's a beauty. Oh, Monty. Gareth Fly over here on the left hand side is pretty good. He can muscle a six iron. It's all about contact. It was lying cleanly. Will it jump on him? Wow. Right down the 18th, they wander. And uh, Monty and Gareth Bell are about to learn that they've won this match. So down to Beef and Josh. A child of Rome with the chance to putt for the game. What happened? Yeah, what happened? Oh, man? So, what happened? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm coming to you next. It was so cool <laughs> putting for Birdie on the 18th. Yeah. I mean, this is not the full Ryder Cup, but it felt like for oh, us, yeah. we definitely wanted to win. We tied the game against two amazing players, but I mean, we had so much fun. The crowd was there for yeah. us. Playing at home too, lots of Italians, lots of Romans here supporting 
the game of golf and it was uh, amazing to be a part of yeah. it. Mate, just tell me about the experience here. I mean, you're looking at the crowds, they're all coming down 100 yards from the green, the stands yeah. full. I mean, it's amazing, right? Yeah, this is, uh, this is an experience of a lifetime. I'll, ne I'll never forget this. I mean, the people were amazing. Uh, the opponents were amazing, and uh, teammate here was awesome, except for that last one. You know, <laughs> let me down, but no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it was a t super fun day. I mean, I it went by so fast. I mean, I can't believe it's already over. I know. What was the overriding feeling when you knew you'd won the game? You know, you've spoken. It's, it it might not be the Ryder Cup, but it is the Ryder Cup. Oh. It's the All Star match. Oh, I mean, most of us here are athletes. Uh, yeah, he's pretty much you. an athlete because <laughs> he plays <laughs> amazing <laughs> golf. <laughs> But we're all competitive, yeah. and yes, we're here to have fun, but at the same time, when there's a trophy, we want to get oh, it. Yeah. So there's definitely not a competition out there. Even, I mean, she was so competitive, you could tell, right? Oh, yeah. She was saying she was not caring, but she was going for it. So it's cool to see that yeah. fire yeah. and that uh, competitive fire, really cool. How are you going to celebrate this victory, guys? I know it's it's massive, it's big time, it's it's, it's, it's up there in the pantheon of sporting greats right now. I'll yeah. take you out to Rome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just want to give a shout out to my coach, Coach Monty. I mean, he I wouldn't be here without him. So, go I'm, captain. I'm, yeah, go captain. Thank you for everything. No doubt. We'll let you go, guys. Go enjoy. Not too much champagne, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Pleasure. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Ooh. Nearly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wonder if we'll see uh, Garrett and the Dude Perfect guys taking on a surfing challenge next. Uh, they, they do some remarkable stuff as it is. I mean, they went to Augusta National and played Amen Corner with, like, hockey sticks and footballs, and, and it was just insane. You can, again, watch it on YouTube. Oh, Garrett's over here on the right-hand side on the downslope in the hay. Look, he needs to get so cute with it. This will test him big style if he gets this within 20 feet past it. Job well done. It's going to come out hot. Take a chair. Don't go in the drink. Oh. <laughs> It didn't go in the water, but you might be standing in it. So are you going to get uh, down to the jocks or what? If I need to, I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's commitment for you, isn't it? <laughs> well, okay, then. Chips on. And stone dead. Touch of a surgeon. I think Pavin's putt has been conceded, so that'll be a four. We've got a four. Monty's putting for three. Back in the stance. This will come in quite low because it's well back outside his right foot. So this will test him to keep it short of the flag. And oh, what a great connection. This boy can really play. It's been fun to watch him. And he's a charming young Welshman. that uh, Colin Montgomery with his eagle putt has this to win another point for his team right to left all the way Dom up and over a slope and it's downhill for the last 16 feet of its journey is tied no points exchange hands there and just to confirm it is a victory for team Monty over team Fabian in this all-star match at Marco Simone to kick off the week of celebrations we've got the Junior Ryder Cup coming up tomorrow for you the finale of that and then of course we begin the big one the Ryder Cup itself with the Friday morning foursomes right about 7.30
on Friday. And then it comes fast and furious till the conclusion of the Ryder Cup. I hope you've had a, a taste of the venue here at Marco Simone. And certainly these closing holes. And had a bit of fun as well. That's what this all-star match was all about. Shall we hear from our winning captain? Why not? Colin Montgomery. Well, Monty's down there and Josh has caught up with the winning captain. So let us hear from Colin. Monty. How does it feel, stood on the green on the 18th at Marco Simone as the first inaugural all-star match winner? Well, I'm getting quite emotional, you know? Hey. So. I can see the tears in your eyes, Monty. <laughs> getting quite emotional. <laughs> but it's fantastic, isn't it? I mean, I just, I just, uh, it's a shame that age, age plays its part. I'm 60 now, you know, and... Uh, no, you don't look a day over 25. Oh, thank you very much. But when you see this and you see what my life was in many ways, yeah. you know, and and uh, and playing in the in the Ryder Cup was a great part of my life, never mind my career, you know. And it's superb to see the support out here today and to see what was going on and to you know to captain a, a team a team of all stars, fantastic. And we had a great day today, but the crowd was superb. The weather's made it though as well. We're very fortunate with the weather, and I believe it's going to stay 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 fantastic for the week. So everything's great, fantastic golf course. It's a real risk and reward golf course. First time I played it. And it's a real risk reward golf golf course. So uh, everything's good, and uh, we'll look forward to the rest of the week for the lads. I well, wish them all the very, very best. While we have this chat, we'll have a little stroll over to the trophy. Come on, yeah. Now, you got to play with Gareth Bell against Corey, an old adversary, and Andre Shevchenko. Some fantastic golf was played. Yes. Were there any nervy moments for you there? Oh, God, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're, playing, you're playing against Corey Pavin, who's one of the greatest yeah. competitors that, yeah. that, that we have come across, believe me. Uh, most most Europeans are going. Oh my God, I'm playing Corey Pavin. You know, it's difficult. So nice to get one up on him. But uh, but uh, no, no, the team must have done great. And uh, I didn't see much of the play ahead of me, obviously. But the star, I was watching the scoreboard. So we did great. Yeah, super. Who? I think I think you know what? I think it's time for you to lift the trophy as the winning captain. You came out confident. Enjoy. Spend some time with your team. Come on now. Absolute pleasure. Oh, you left me hanging. Thank you for having me in the team, Colin. Come on now. Pleasure. Yeah, look at me. I had a great Captain? Good. And the president of Marco Simone Golf and Country Club, Lavinia Biagiot. He's doing okay, eh? Yes. Wonderful. Senior is about to hand over the trophy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. He knows the course very well. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. It was the Piagiotti family who okay, first so came here. Yeah, Bought the Castello. I think we should give it to, uh, to everybody. Well, and the golf course followed. Okay. Thank you so much, Legends, for being here today and for making it so special for everyone at Marco Simone. You are inspiration for us and we're truly honored to give you the first trophy of the Ryder Cup. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, that's Yeah, the first silverware of the week is raised by Monty and his team. Well done to them. Usually throw the captain in the water, don't they? <laughs> yeah, yes, good call. Get in there, Monty, come on. Are we in? Are we in? Can you see? Good lad. Well done. Great competition, well done to everyone. Crowds are amazing. Nice little primer, isn't it, for what's to follow? With the Junior Ryder Cup and uh, the Ryder Cup itself. And you can start to get a little idea about what it's going to be like over the next few days. Yeah, there's a couple of shots there that, uh, especially on the 18th, where golf balls didn't run into the water. So I'm sure, you know, some folks will be taking notice, whether it's the folks setting the course up or the competitors themselves. But, uh, 
Yeah, a couple of interesting uh, shots out there, so I'm sure that uh, some folks took note. It's a beautiful yeah. trophy. That's all I've got. That's all I've got is strength. <laughs> you pair have got long, but I've got strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Colin, no, good. Not, not just quickly. Um, Sorry. We've both got one final. So they can continue their celebrations. Remember, Fioravanti has promised to take them all out to Rome this evening, which would be quite a nice way to finish things off, wouldn't it? And from the Eternal City, and that's it for Team Monty. A victory for them. Whereabouts do I happen to be? Four o'clock. Yes. Well, a little bit of breeze out there. Apparently it's not going to be too windy over the three days of the Ryder Cup itself or tomorrow for the uh, Junior Ryder Cup. Because it certainly was earlier this week and that was making things a little bit more tricky. Crosswinds especially with that thick rough out there. Really good to see. Well, two world number ones, isn't it? The uh, Novak Djokovic from the tennis world and Kip Popert, the number one disability golfer in the world. They were a good pairing. All in all, some uh, great fun out there. And we can look forward to the Junior Ryder Cup here tomorrow.